kita continue. Alright, actually we are already week four. Eh. I hope we are not behind schedule. Eh. Tapi uh, as I mentioned to you about preparing the PDS, eh. I already share in the WhatsApp kan. You guys kan about preparing the PDS ada kan? Product design spec ada kan guys kelas? Uh, PDS kan? Eh. So PDS need to be prepared eh need to be prepared eh? because PDS is product design specification is very important. Eh? It's a foundation eh, in your design process. Eh? Your product design spec is a foundation before a lot of people are taking design process they, they, they be given a design project they straight away jump to concept generation. That's totally bad mistake. Eh? And the worst thing is that, that they're not only their foundation is not strong. They are not well prepared. They don't know what the issue, what the story all about. So whatever the parameters or the issue, the story, you know what about if your background finding is already stated in your PDS. Okay. So if your PDS is good, so it means you can generate good concept. Color. If your PDS is shallow, it's not good. So it means your concept generation you are misguided. Yeah. PDS like is a guiding. Yeah. It's a guide you before you generate concept. Okay. I believe satu lagi. Uh, one thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, in uh, kita. Ada tak any participation from uh, Pahib student Azman Azman Pahib Azman Hisham Institute apa ada Azman 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 Hashim tak ada ada tak ada join. Tak apa I did mention in WhatsApp group kan ada participation kan ada kan. But I ask you to give all the group link uh, we we back link kan. Eh, we back to WhatsApp. Punya group ada kan? Share kan? Each group punya WhatsApp ada post kan? Tapi belum ada participation eh? Okay, maybe session yeah. 10 tu ada. Okay, so you have a group. Uh, maybe you might have a new, I don't know. Kalau tak ada, tak ada lah. If you have, uh, you punya new team member will join. Eh? One one student on each group. The student from Ahim eh? Uh, Azman Hashim uh, Institute. They are more on marketing student eh? Sudah ngomong on marketing and management. They know better about marketing lah. It's good kalau dia participate lah. So, I mean, dalam in our design, kita multi-disciplinary lah. The team, kalau the more you have multi-disciplinary, it's much better. Eh? Because in real case, in design, kita not just one team as engineer. We have people from sales, people from management, people from, from marketing, people from manufacturing, people from all other, people from... Uh, Quality also, eh? production and so on. Eh? A lot of people, multidisciplinary, electrical engineer, not just mechanical, eh? Engin any engineering yang involved, it's good. Okay. Okay, right now, I believe that you are dah already in good progress in your project. Eh? Okay, That's, as I mentioned to you about uh, preparing, preparing your product design specification. Eh? Okay, product design. Let me share you my slides. Okay, can you see my slide, guys? Let me know, eh? Actually, yes, sir. Eh? Alright, uh, you know about design brief problem statement, then you can avoid mind mapping or objective three, then uh, your knowledge level uh, based on your mind mapping and your objective three, you, you more, the more detail your mind mapping, you, you have a lot of branches detail in your mind map. I hope you have done this, okay? So, I cannot monitoring you guys, but you already, this already done. Eh? My mapping already detailed from my mapping or objective three. If you're the more detailed objective three or the more detailed your my mapping, you can see a lot of branches. Yeah? You can see a lot of issue. It give you the more detail it give you directions, a lot of direction for you to search information. I already uh, explained to you about source information yeah, in PowerPoint slide. If kalau siapa Amirul, you ada recorded yang dulu you buat yang source information, I think. Ada rekod tak, Amiro? Can you share them? Nanti yang saya share. Okay. Alright, good. Okay, lepas tu, you anti member searching information. They give you direction information from my map and OGT3. Then you search so information already explained. Then come there, you search information. I do, this thing is quite, I hope you already done. Then you start, okay. You below, then you sit down together. Then you form a PDS. Okay, tapi you cannot form PDS empty-handed. So each one of you that prepare all the documents. That's the point. Eh? I I really mentioned, kan, you handle by Jamboard. Eh? 
pakai Google Jamboard or Zoom whiteboard eh, buat handle how you discuss eh. I don't know what platform you use tapi you discuss to uh, forming the product design specification. So, okay, to explain you about PDF. So, you the have done this one. Eh? So, yeah, I already explained to you about the source information. Eh? Collect all the information. Then, kemudian, your knowledge become like, uh, you have apa ni, greater knowledge. <coughs> then, you then you sit down together. Uh, you sit down to bring all the document. You sama kawan-kawan datang all the document. Banyak lah document, banyak. Ada YouTube, ada Google, kan? Betul lah, eh? kan? Kan? Eh, you cannot empty and there. You find your PDS. You have a lot of document. Everything is there. Yeah. Macam like this one is uh, the background desktop for your laptop lah. Kalau you punya desktop ni penuh dengan document, what you do? Let's say there is a background desktop of you punya laptop. What you do? Amiru, you are recording lah eh? Can. Amiru. Okay. Kalau ni you punya desktop punya background. Penuh dokumen. Biasa lah, standard lah you punya laptop kan. Background desktop. Penuh. What you do? A lot of dokumen. Kan you download apa boleh tu semua. You semua save dalam desktop. Save in the... What you do? Apa you buat? A lot of dokumen. Ya, 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 betul. Itulah, itulah PDS. You you sit down together as a team. You collect all the information. Cannot empty and eh? Mesti semua dah search information. You have a lot. Some of you ada information daripada YouTube, daripada standard, daripada Google, daripada existing product, daripada legislation, maybe supplier, catalog, a lot of things. Eh? Video over ada semua. Jadi, it's a matter of you arrange lah kan? You arrange lah, you arrange lah. So, you arrange lah. Jadi, you can arrange to make it organize. The first rule of management, kita organize lah. Eh? Kita organize, eh? kita organize kan? Kita kena organize kan all information. Jadi, more, more ni lah. Tak ada messy lah dokumen kita. Pasal-pasal eh. Kadang you. Pasal you. You you search information. You think your team member search information lain. Tapi it's matter of now. How you. How you communicate when you want to. you you How you want to share. How you want to share among each other. Macam mana cara you can share. You and your team member have the same knowledge. You ada knowledge A. Your friend ada knowledge B. Dia ada knowledge C. D. E. How you share. Everybody have a knowledge A plus B plus C plus D plus E. Semua ada. Your team member E pun have the same knowledge. F A plus B plus C. Macam mana you share? Ha, itu, the share tu, cara terbaik is forming a PDS. Okay? The matter of sharing knowledge. Forming a product design specification. Pasal dia product specification to represent you punya knowledge finding. You punya information search. You gather kan, you compile kan, you soon. So, you organize lah. The pointing, the personal management. management. Kalau you good management, you can organize kan all you punya information. Jadi, pasal information tu can be a lot of questions. Can be YouTube, can be catalog, can be from article, from be journal, eh? can be uh, research paper and so on, can be daripada video, can be from standard legislation, patterns, I, you must do patterns, so pattern search, existing product, energy product, stakeholders, third party, eh? vendor-vendors yang might involve in your, maybe, your punya, walaupun you haven't designed, you haven't designed your punya product yet, tapi you can predict based on existing product, similar like yours, yang farm industries, cattle handling, about feeding or bathing. Yeah, that's a stakeholder, eh, third party involved. You might think, might have dalam, even you haven't generated concept yet, tapi it might have, will be in your uh, component. You can find, okay, from that component, you might have a uh, feeding mechanism, bathing mechanism. This all stakeholders eh, yang akan involved dalam information. So, they involve some, uh, apa ni? Uh, you team member, different kind of formation. So, you sit down together, you share. How do you share? In two format that easy. Easy format you can share among you and your team member. You can easily understand. You cannot buat format to in report. You compile can you punya, uh, all the document from your team member. For the compile, then you do a report. Okay, say a long one, two, four, six. Cannot. You can make a report by heart to understand. People don't have time to read report like a novel. Like, end up like a novel. You can compile all the, you know, write a report, report. This is uh, my friend here, the binding here, and they can, this is double A. It cannot be. It could be easy format. So, what is the best format? Kita boleh share information. Channel format, what is the best? So, I don't say you cannot make a bullet point pun boleh. You want to make a flowchart version pun not that good. Tapi the answer eh, to make it shortcut eh. I want to save time. Kita only two hours. It's a PDS eh. The PDS is the answer. PDS is like a checklist. It's like a checklist. Okay. So, <clears throat> so what is product design specification eh? Product design specification eh. There is a list of requirement. Nampak eh? Can you see my slide guys? Boleh nampak? Nampak tak? My sound okay tak? Boleh clear tak sound? Yeah. Sound okay? Alright, okay. Good. Alright. 
Okay, PDN adalah list of requirement. Eh? It's a checklist, it's a guideline, the initial boundary of your design. Initial boundary of design, okay? Dia adalah requirement, list of requirement. Kalau kita cakap it's a checklist. Check, what is checklist? Checklist apa? Class. It's a checklist. Checklist apa? Essay ke? Not, not essay kan? Checklist, report. You compile. You compile together make a report. Tak boleh. That's why it's not checklist. Kata you compile all document finding from you and team member, you make a report. Itu bukan checklist. That is not checklist. Checklist apa? It has a checklist. Checklist what? What is checklist? Point. Point kan? Point by point by point kan? Tapi kalau itu, tak boleh. It cannot write point aja. People tak faham. You only faham. You punya information. You write the point. You you the only Tapi your friend, you expect to share the same knowledge of what you punya perception, tak boleh. You kena make a sentence lah. You kena buat bullet point, just point, point. You saja faham. If you punya friend write another one point, dia only faham, you tak faham. You cannot understand. It could be, you must be a sentence. A checklist tapi in sentence. Faham? Okay? Okay, your PDS also dia the guidelines. Eh? The guide. The guide you before you. Before right after this, memang kita akan generate concept. We will generate concept ideas. How strong our concept generation depend on our PDS. So PDS kita kena read, kita kena kita kita kena kena refer, kita kena before kita generate idea kita kena check PDS. Kita dah understand the PDS, kita dah know all the list of requirement. Jangan semata mata you do PDS, the lecturer ask you to do it, and kemudian after you finish you submit to lecture, okay that's it, you throw away. Then you generate idea. Well, for lah, use lah, tak boleh lah. PDS tu tak functioning lah. PDS tu you dah make complete your PDS checklist. Kalau kita cakap it's a checklist, below, before you generate ideas, you kena check. Does it, your idea that you generate, is your idea that your concept generate, you sketch ideas until after this. Does it obey the checklist? Does it obey the requirement has been set in your PDS? Uh, you kena check. Faham tak? Bukanlah you don't have to hafal your PDS. I mean, you kena, you have much, the average uh, you and your team member have, after you have finished your PDS, have, each one of you must have copies of it. Okay, PDS cannot be one pages and it be a lot. Eh? Because if you one page, shallow. Eh? Two pages will still shallow. I think, I think you need four pages at least. Four pages, A4, eh? four size. So it's that you have to make the checklist, list line by line, guideline. It is the boundary of your design. Okay. Okay, if you product, if you sell on the market, like sales guys, sales person, they want to sell you a product, a spot, they want to, you want to buy a car, you go to the dealer, right? they gave you a product. They want to call technical specification. Eh? They give you a product, punya, uh, the scar, punya speed, fuel consumption, the engine CC, uh, how many seat, uh, and so on. All the features. Uh, itu, itu, that is technical spec. Itu product have already done. They are released on the market or they want to sell the product. They give you, the one is technical specification. But product design specification, eh, yang kita, you are a design team. You want to design. The product has not been done yet. You haven't generated the concept yet. But it's a product design specification. Before you design, before you generate, this is the product spec you intend to build. Understand what I mean? That's we call product design specification. Eh? Before kita generate idea, before kita design that product, kita ada technical, kita ada list of spec, list of specification, what our product intends, we intend to design, our product intends to do. Understand what I mean? Tapi it's not a solution, guys. Belum. Dalam PDS, requirement that you put statement, it's not about solution. It's not solution. It's uh, something like a requirement. That is different. You put a list of requirement before you design idea. This is a requirement. Dia bukan, that is not solution. Uh, you have to understand what is different. Solution like solution. Kalau you put solution, if it has, you said this machine will be fully automatic. Tak boleh. Sometimes it cannot be like that. Fully too. Sometimes maybe you, for example, like, sometimes it cannot be, you can make a list statement, it must be fully automatic. Maybe one of your team member want to generate uh, maybe semi-automatic. Uh, so you put a statement, a clear requirement. This machine must be either fully automatic or semi-automatic. Uh, something. Nampak tak? Dia ada. That, uh, that is not solution. That is a statement of requirement. Understand that, guys? Uh, itu under header performance lah. Nanti lah macam kita discuss. Okay? So, itulah. Dia set. Okay, itu kita buat PDS. Kita boleh intend product to not yet be designed. Tapi kita buat product kita boleh, kita boleh requirement before kita generate ideas. Okay, in PDS, kita specify problem. Kita do not put a solution. Eh? Do not put a solution. Okay, you dah go to design saja. Problem definition, eh, you buat mind mapping, you define. Dia, dia problem definition, eh, dia only problem definition, eh, dia define outline design goal. Eh. You search the root, all the information funding, give you direction to search information. Dia, dia outline the goal and major constraint and consideration. Lepas tu, you dah buat mind mapping, you buat objective 3, eh, problem tu. Dan kemudian, 
Tapi PDF ni, after you, bila buat mapping or objective you search information or you and your team member search all different information that you compile together, sit down together, compile, okay, then you form the PDF. So PDF ni involve, actually they involve from problem definition. Eh? Uh, okay, PDF ni involve. The PDF dia goes, dia goes further daripada compare dengan ni punya produk ni. Eh? They goes further to determine the precise limit and boundary. Eh? Okay, PDF ni you buat a set uh, of requirement and checklist. Dia 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 nanti bila you, when you have this, this set of requirement, it, it give you the precise limit and boundary. And full set of requirement lah. Uh, full set of requirement. They give you a precise limit. Nanti, kalau you don't have PDS, bila you generate, after this memang conceptual design. Ini yang the most yang fun stage lah. The peak stage of your punya design process is conceptual design lah. Memang itu memang you generate ideas, you sketch ideas lah. Tetapi, so like foundation lah cakap. Bila you have PDS, dia bagi you precise limit. Uh, this good. Kalau tidak, if you don't have PDS, you misguided lah. Maksudkan tak lah, you misguided. You punya concept generation misguided. Kalau you ada PDS, it's guided. Dia bagi preset yang besar, you tahu the set. That all the statement in the PDS is based on your information. You dengan already, your team member already compiled it. Eh? You know the limitation. They give you limits lah. The precise limit for you to generate edges and boundary. Eh? Right. <coughs> okay, so when to kita prepare PDS? When you prepare PDS, it's uh, rightly before concept design. Okay, rightly uh, before concept design. Make sure your PDS is completed. Eh? Uh, cannot be shallow as I told you, must be detailed. Kalau shallow, it means your background information shallow lah. Kalau your PDS detail, detail, complete eh, and detailed, so you have a nice of statement there, so you and your team member can share. You read the you know all this set of requirement. Okay, then only be there. Each your team member have the same copy of completed PDS. Each of you, bukan like time of merah, tapi dah know dah. And have the same copy, you can refer it, you know. So maybe your team member will not ask basic basic question. Maybe you have a new commerce. Dalam design tiga, I think industry, eh, you are a team of five. Eh. Maybe nanti bila you are asked, eh, there will be a new commerce, new fresh engineer will join your team. Baru entry. You dah junior engineer, right? You dah senior engineer at the company. Budak baru lah fresh graduate, kan? Dia tiba head of the company, top punya management ask dia baru punya fresh graduate punya engineer join design team. You guys lah, design team. You dah senior engineer. Nah, this new engineer, fresh graduate lagi, will bothering you lah. Will bother you. Will bother you. Join your team. For shortcut to overcome that problem, pasal dia akan tanya apa benda ni kan, basic-basic. You tak ada masa you then. The best thing to answer, you already completed the PS. Now, this is a copy of our PDS. Read it. Bila dia read, the newcomer, the new team member read the PDS. Yeah. A shortcut for him. All you've been passing through before this, all the information, dia dah tahu. The PDS already dah represent. So, dia, dia, dia will never, he will never like, kind like, ask you basic, basic, stupid question. Hey, what is the machine punya power input? Uh, what is the, kita punya cattle? How much quantity kita want to know? Read the PDS. That's a short answer to him. Read the PDS, you understand. PDS already saying. That's why the PDS statement, it have to be nice statement. Easy, people. Even newcomers, new, join your new, akan easy to understand. Dia tengok, oh, dapat. Kalau you make it complicated sentence, you part it. Make a nice and then concept. So, the uh, point is, where to prepare PDS before concept to design. Eh? Bila you have the PDS, then only you can develop. Bila you have PDS, each one of you have the same company. Even you punya fresh new team member mau join, they have PDS. Dia itself boleh, can generate concept. Nampak tak? Independently. You and your team member can generate independently. Understand kan? Pasal you dah boleh independent. That's why design dia cakap. Design is process or generally, apa? As I told you, design is a process of solving problem by generating alternatives, concepts, plural, lot. Jadi, each one of you have to produce your own concept. Can generate concepts and find the best solution. So, you find the champion, the best solution. Jadi, each one of you, kalau you ready, PDS is ready, completed, you can independently generate your own idea. So, you have team of five, right? Each of you can independently generate idea based on PDF. You don't have to each other. You can independently work. Now only each one of you already have a strong, good, well prepared. Well prepared, what is it? PDS. PDS that you read and you you understand, like kind like memorize lah. You know, apa the requirement, set requirement. Then builder when you generate ideas, you are generate strong. Listen lah guys, faham lah? Bau good. Ah, uh, listen eh? Class? Alright. Uh, can you hear me or not? Class? Alright. Okay, then only kita generate, okay? So, right before 
konsep design ya. People who nak taking design process, people nak taking biasanya lah in your sekolah, even banyak eh, banyak field, banyak ke faculty pun, management, uh, even education punya faculty, student pun dia ada design project. The lecturer give them, tapi they are not well trained on design process. Bila the lecturer give them, even electrical engineer pun, civil, everything have design project. When the lecturer give their design project, eh, even uh, student from uh, education, they give your product design, eh, design the product. Eh, so I think. Tapi people, they, they are not trained in design process. They straight away, this normally is common people, you know, taking a concept to design. Straight away, group of five, let's say a team of five. First mistake, they work on one solution. All sit down together, working on one case. Terus jump to solution, that is the first mistake. They don't have any PDF. Foundation is not strong. Okay? They are not well prepared. They don't know the issue. What is the issue? What is the story? PDF represents all the issue, all the requirements. You set the requirement. You know what the story before. You have done research, background, and so on. Okay, now people are not taking it as a They throw straight away to concept design. Okay, that's the first mistake. Okay, they, they don't have PDS. The second thing, mistake is five of them working on one. Team of five working on one solution. Totally second biggest bad mistake. Second mistake, eh? Because one solution. That one solution is not the most optimum. It's good. You have different apa, individual apa? Lot of solution, then find the best. Yeah, that's because optimum. Lah. So how to make sure that every one of you can develop own ideas? A PDS. Okay, a PDS is the answer. So when you have a PDS, you read your PDS, then you have a strong foundation. You know that means. Okay, when you prepare the PDS, guys, prepare not empty-handed. Eh? All of you prepare the document already. Eh? Okay, the, okay, when to prepare is before, direct before concept design. Okay, process of using PDS. So document, eh, you share. So you sit down together. Okay, make sure not empty-handed. Eh? So, each one of you dah ada lengkap. All of you dilengkapi dengan maklumat-maklumat. Eh? All of your team member or web, uh, already have the document. Research. Background you from video, from standard, from pattern, from research paper and so on. From catalog, semua. Bring together. Okay, as a team leader, you play a role. You sit down, bring together, then you sit down. You could use Google Jam on. I think better than I ask you to do already, kan? You dah start buat, kan? Betul, kan? Guys, dah start buat belum? Class. Yes, yeah. Ah, that's yeah. Okay, tapi baru performance kan? Tapi there's another heading I have to add more. Performance tu, I would need to be detailed. Because that's the most important heading. Okay, that's what you have done. Ah. You prepare all the document, then kemudian you translate all the point. Okay, each one uh, formulation. Take a point from each team member. Translate into point from each different document. Then kemudian you category lah. Category in code heading lah. Category, categorize kan eh? You take categorize. And that's why dalam your PDS ada categorize mode. First is performance. So under category, so the point is what category you want to put. Now, already I explained you, I said I want you to do is performance. Actually, ada a lot of lagi category. Uh, that's why I have to explain more in this slide. Lah. Alright. <coughs> okay, another thing I have to explain about PDS. Eh? Okay, PDS is what is required to design a product, not a solution. So in PDS, when you write a PDS, do not write solution. You write what is so basic, requirement and solution is different. You write what is required to design. Do not write solution. Solution, for example, we want to design this fully, everything, and we want to do this by fully metal. You don't know. You haven't generated concept. You don't know the solution. Uh, you die, uh, too early statement. You check out, we want to focus this, we want to do by uh, robotic arm, by using this hydraulic cylinder. Uh, no, it's too wrong. That is not PDS statement. It's too solution. Ideas generation in your concept generation, it can be a, a lot of things. You can do it. You generate your own. You can do hydraulic, pneumatic. You can use uh, what type of mechanism you want to use. Arduino, that is your idea generated method. But PDS need is a statement, a requirement, not solution. Requirement, what is required to design. Eh? The difference eh, between required and solution. Do not put solution. Okay? Jangan write, do not write a PDS in the essay. Cannot be an essay. Macam design brief, essay form, right? Report is essay form. You mean your sentence is jointed, jointed. It's a right line by line. One line per line, per line, per line. Not essay form. One line, one statement of your point of your PDS. The next line, one different point from your PDS. Do not, okay? Understand? Understand what I mean? Line by line, eh? Okay, line by line, okay? Use sharp, definitive, short, sharp, definitive statement under element. Under your element, so your, your sentence must be concise lah, eh? Solid. Solid statement. Jangan you write a sentence that you only want to understand the, the word, what you are saying. But your friend don't understand. You mean you punya sentence is easy to understand. Solid statement yang easy to understand. Do not long-winded statement, statement like you are doing essay. No. It's a step, not bullet point. You put bullet point also wrong. People not understand. You put a sentence, sentence tu kena solid. Must be solid. Concise statement. 
So people, your team member will un really understand because you share among you and your team member. Each one you have the same copy. A newcomer also join your team. They shortly when they read the sentence, easy they understand. No more basic question, no more stupid question. They don't worry about it because you give the PS data. Okay, they know what to do. He also can generate concept shortcut. Okay, even here just new join, just join in. He can generate concept. Okay. Okay, uh, should be uh, written in few words, briefly, quantally, clearly. So, that's a solid statement, yeah? All right, so, ini adalah, okay, as I told you, PDS heading. Nampak, eh? Class. Nampak tak? Nah, yang besok, yang you have done already performance, ya, lah. Okay, performance ni memang banyak, lah. Performance is the most important. Okay, kita go for clockwise, eh? Uh, from the 12 o'clock, eh? Performance ni is the most important, lah. Performance ni paling penting, eh? Tapi, uh, boleh tak I explain everything ni, boleh, eh? For this solid two hours, boleh eh? Amiru, you record kan? Amiru. Alright. Saya kena explain everything ni. Because I'm talking not just for the sake of this course. Pasal not all the heading you pakai actually. Tapi in the real industry, the more you use all the heading ni, the much better it is. I think I got to explain. Basically, you understand lah. Eh? In industry, the real case. Okay? Okay, kita start from the formal. Performance, of course, there's the most important lah. So, for clock eh? Performance ni, kita go clock wise. Performance is ni lah. Performance is a what your product intends to do lah. Okay, under your performance, okay, you bought your PDS, okay, the first thing you are the heading, performance. Performance heading, eh? okay, the next, the line under the heading performance, you write. What your, not essay form, eh? line per line, different line, different point, different line, different, okay. Normally, performance ni macam, the first line to should be your, what your product intends to do. You haven't, memang, you haven't, you haven't, not, apa? you haven't generate concept yet, you don't know what machine gonna be, tetapi you boleh, Based on your finding, you and your team member punya background studies, you look maybe on, uh, your, based on your uh, lawatan industry, you visit the industry. So, what's your punya customer, your punya client, Encik Kadeh tu, for Sarjana PME, they ask you what to do. You, they want, you expect the, your mission want to do. You visit, one or you doing bathing, what you doing feeding, right? So, you put, uh, I, this one need to be detailed, guys. Understand me? This need to be detailed. Not essay phone, line per line. Okay, first line, what your machine? Telling me what the machine Okay, you are, let's say you are focused on feeding. What your machine intends to do? Apa, what, what your machine? Cepat sikit. Apa your machine nak buat ni? Okay, go for feeding. Apa machine you nak buat? What your machine you buat? Cepat sikit. You, what, some of you went. How many of you go to industry? Visit industry? Visit it, no? Hello, class. Hello, class. Please respond. Cepat sikit. Yeah, berapa orang visit it? Uh, untuk kelas ni, berapa orang eh? In dalam enam orang itu kan? Lima enam orang. Okay, okay. Kalau, okay. kalau tak silap lah. Okay, <laughs> okay lima enam orang. Uh, awak yang, apa, Syazwan, awak awak visit? Uh, saya ada juga. Ah, awak visit. Okay, bila, Syazwan, bila you visit there, eh, apa you punya customer mm -hmm. cakap? Encik Kadeh cakap uh, apa? Why you why you told you? Dia punya permasalahan dia tu, uh, Okay, you apa? You, you, you bathing ke feeding? Feeding. Feeding. Okay, feeding. Apa, apa, apa dia nak? Uh, semua, apa? Kerja tu dibuat secara manual. Ya, yeah, so, uh, manual fitting. So, okay, so, dia nak you buat apa? Uh, dia kata at least semi-auto lah. Buat mesin semi-auto. Uh, nah, nampak tak ada semi-auto kan? At least, at least semi-auto. Dalam statement you punya, dan the performance, you kena cakap semi-auto atau you cakap both? Dia cakap at least semi-auto. Nampak tak? Itu contoh lah. Okay, apa dia nak? Satu lagi. Itu satu eh. Dia cakap at least semi-auto. Okay, satu lagi. Apa dia nak you buat? So problem yang manual dia feeding kan. You dah, you already visited the industry. You see they do the manual job to feed the cattle sekarang kan. So apa dia, they want you to do to solve this problem. Betul tak? Am I right? Betul tak Syazwan? Syazwan? Betul-betul. To solve the problem, they want to you to build the machine or a system, anything kan. Did you mention? Hmm. Okay, you pun don't know how how many cows. It could be per cow or maybe one operator. Okay, when you visit it there, the manual feeding macam mana? They feeding per cow. One cow, one cow feeding ke? They, and one shot, one batch of cow, they feeding. Macam mana? Dia banyak-banyak uh, sekali lah tu. Yeah. Uh, dia Tapi ada lah. range dia lah. Uh. Uh, dia ada row dia kan? Uh, dia range Pekul dia. lembu tu, uh. 20% daripada berat badan dia. Okay, the amount quantity of food, uh, one per uh. cow is 10% of their weight kan? Quantity. Uh -huh. That is all important. I mean, you jot down to all the important to it under quantity. Nampak tak? That all, that all information, the point, that is all under performance. You nampak tak? Performance of the machine. Nampak tak the story that is again? All the point taken when you visited. Nampak tak? You mentioned that uh, there is a range of cow, uh, the punya amount of food 
feeding must uh, be at least 10% percent apa at least 10% percent apa macam ni must must be at least every okay not at least ya yeah. the statement important dalam you punya performance yeah, under your PDS do not say at least must be lah must be atau average term tu penting 10% percent of the nampak tak that is all head under heading performance faham tak pasal itu ada all your information collecting you collected emotion finding information finding you cannot lose it how to jot it down macam okay, you form the pds you jot it down so easy translated you and your team member easy understand understand tak so you put a statement under performance okay the punch what you your machine intend to do you jaga itu yang paling penting the most important under performance what your machine okay machine intend to do okay you can we cakap at least me auto you put a statement this machine or device Okay, you you pun tak sure. Maybe you design one machine. Maybe you design a system. Eh, ada modular modular. I cakap. This uh, system can apa? Consist comprise of um, uh, focus only. You buat a statement or or, or modular. Understand what I mean, guys? Pam tak? Yang lain pam tak? Apa saya cakap? Are you listening or not? Yang lain? Uh, itu ini. Itu detail eh. Line per line. What you mean? I think I think I think about five five line lah, five sentence lah at least. Itu bau cerita what you're betting sendiri. Okay, kemudian the lastly lah kata you ada four line yang cerita yang you visited sendiri tentang okay, at least dekat semi auto. You put a statement yang clear. You and you team member understand. Uh, you can be I mean you punya can be fully auto or semi auto. Okay, that's clear. Satu lagi what is the uh, yang tadi lah your mission intends to do. Uh, Uh, kalau you feeding more on kepada amount uh, tu, itu important. Tu pada line. This machine must can feed a cow. Okay. You want to focus one cow ke one row of cow? You dah, you dah mention you something kan? It could be one row of cow. And maybe per cow. Betul tak? Betul tak? Betul, betul. Uh, jadi, buat a statement on that. Satu, itu bawa, ini apa yang saya terfikir je lah. Banyak lagi. Itu yang penting. The first sentence, few sentence. Per line, per line. Eh, jangan sambung sentence. One line different story. One friend is a third line different story. I think I think about five line. About performance. Uh, under heading performance. Heading is performance. Uh, that one. The first one. The what your machine intends to do. Faham tak guys? Your machine, your system, apa, your device intends to do. Cerita sedikit. I think about five story. Five line to five story. I don't know lah. Faham? Understand tak guys? Lain clear tak? Okay, itu masih performan. Itu baru sentence kelima ada performan eh. Sentence, katakanlah, six sentence ah baru datang machine punya power. Okay, maybe katakan, you don't know. Maybe you don't know. Maybe when you visited the farm tu, you tengok, maybe you want to design a device or machine yang need a source of power. Kadang-kadang performan machine ni, under you punya machine, you punya product punya power source also performan. How many kilowatt or how many horsepower? You don't know, okay. Sir, I haven't generated concept. How do I know how much power needed? Okay, you can look based on your judgment with your team and basically, tapi mainly is from your survey from the existing product. Actually, this product is already there in the market. In the industry, dah ada dah. Farm industry, you tengok, product yang quite similar. Not about, uh, it's about cow, cattle, tengok. You can look on the catalog. Eh? Tengok, kalau you rajin, you and team member already done research. Eh? First of all, you form video, you already well prepared. You the All the comments that you done research, your existing product is there, yang cow handling, cow feeding machine, katakan that is at, ada somewhere at New Zealand. That's a company based. I don't know what company lah. They have this cow feeding machine. They think from there, okay, they have kind like this machine that will use kind, they need source of power. They have the power lah. I mean, they have motor running. Uh, they bukan like, like, like more like human handling ni. ni. They are more like, To, because, because this company ni, Saujana so Gipimi, they ask you to design something that overcome their punya manual work. It mean you want to do it at least semi-auto or fully auto lah. So, kalau semi-auto or fully auto, your punya project will be kind like a device or machine or system. It will be a machine device system. So, like that. They call a machine device system need a power. Betul tak? They need source of power kan? Okay, how what how many source of power lah? That is performance of a machine. Tapi you haven't generated concept yet. Tapi you can look on existing product. Tengok New Zealand mana next apa Holland yang mana lah yang 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 good on this uh, kind of industry eh farm industry macam Holland New Zealand and so on you know better lah tengok existing company yang ni macam Sajana Pit Mill lah yang similar product yang 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 dia dia for tenusu kan for milk apa ni for milking kan milking punya cow tenusu eh for milking 
uh, tengok machine kalau ada company company the existing company what what type product from there you can get dia punya dia yeah, machine they use uh, apa dia punya power power performance power of that machine how many kilowatt or power okay nah, itu itu also that's also that will be your sixth line and also the production rate uh, the production rate tadi juga production rate is about the quantity eh macam like when you visited the farm industry tu dia tengok you you punya machine can be per cow and also maybe one row kan eh? macam you feeling kan eh? feeding per cow one row Okay, guys, I'm talking not just building. Kalau building, you thinking, eh? you punya application you, tapi go on building. Macam mana you punya production rate? Production rate, eh? work rate also is performance of the machine. Macam you want to, you cakap this machine can be operated per cow and per, okay, satu lagi buat range. Bila you visit it there, dia feeding lembu tu indoor or outdoor? Syazwan, indoor ke outdoor feeding? Indoor. Indoor, okay. Indoor important, indoor. You dah, okay. In, that is important point, indoor. It must be indoor. It must be indoor. It must be indoor, kan? Must, must. Is it must? Must what say? Must be indoor, kan? Normally feeding, kan? Memang feeding ni indoor, kan? Jangan. <coughs> indoor, kan? Of course indoor, kan? Aiyah, Okay, indoor. Food statement dah. That is another under your performance. Pasal penting. Performance ni dalam PDS performance tu yang detail lah. Detail, detail. Banyak. Pasal tu yang penting lah. Performance, kita punya mesin kita nak design. When you generate konsep, nanti you kena refer banyak pada performance. Itu kena detail guys ya. Eh? Banyak. Okay. Uh, kalau indoor, cakap the mesin must be operated indoor. Ini cerita feeding. Bedding saya tahu eh. Bedding saya tahu. Maybe outdoor eh. Kalau you pernah mistaken, bedding can be outdoor or indoor. Tak tak? Okay. Lepas tu, uh, uh, indoor satu lagi cerita. How much, how much the, okay. Bila you visit, when they are doing the manual for feeding the cow, Uh, do they, they manually ikut row saja kan, the tabur, how do they do that? Cepat sikit, saya nak input, cepat sikit, cepat sikit, Shazwan ke siapa, cepat. Dia tabur pekau apa, one row kan, kalau setiap, eh, mesti mesti ada tabur all the, ni. Makanan dia apa? Eh? Makanan dia apa? What, what type of food dia punya, dia punya dia food? Campuran, campuran daripada uh, ubi. Hmm. Uh, ubi lagi nenas yang dah rosak dengan jagung punya ni. Ampas jagung lah. Ampas jagung. Mesti tu ke atau ada dalam, ada, ada, ada vendors, ada supplier yang already ada, uh, macam makanan kucing ada standard supplier. Jual lah. Ada jual atau ada tu? Dia buat sendiri sekarang. Dia ada jual juga sendiri. Eh, selain pada sendiri daripada nenas, daripada jagung, ampas jagung, dan nenas and ubi, kan? Nenas, jagung, ubi macam tu. And ada tak yang ada supply from industry untuk cow feeding? I mean, dia dah ada, dia dah ada seller, dia dah ada supplier untuk makanan lembu. Dia ada dalam. Saya tanya. Saya hmm. tanya, tapi dia kata dia yang supply untuk orang. Oh, dia yang supply makanan untuk, okay. Hmm. Okay, jadi consider dia punya, okay, dia punya food of the cow tu yang, tu orang you kena mention lah. Kena mention. Itu performance of your machine. Mention dalam statement. Maka tak? Nampak tak? Dalam PDS, performance tu detail tau. Everything yang about your machine tu yang involve. Apa, not machine intends to do saja dan juga anything you punya performance. That is consider performance your machine. Okay, your machine, you design a machine that will feed the cow kan? What type of food? This machine will feed apa jenis food tu pun you mention. Nampak tak? Itu performance your machine. Kan? Faham? Okay. Okay, saya cakap itu yang saya cakap. Yang first uh, five center tu ada detail lah eh. Dia punya production rate, ada punya yang saya cakap tadi. Okay, nanti kita, oh, saya cakap performance power dia, power consumption. Kalau tengok you punya machine, kalau need source of power, of course, berapa kilowatt. You don't know, even you haven't generated concept. You boleh predict when on existing product. Tengok capacity for how many car. Kata you want to operate totally, you want to feed the whole, uh, well, one row tu ada 10 cows. You mean your punya operator, your punya machine can, 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 apa, can perform that kind of function, kan? Can, apa tu, so how many uh, kilowatt of power machine lah, uh, maybe you, one shot, you punya feeding machine, dia boleh terus, dia feed the uh, five ni, uh, dia terus tu. So, tak biasa, you can look on existing product lah, eh, berapa kilowatt of power, uh, dia punya, tu lah power source dia, eh, pasal kita fully auto or semi auto, kan? And tadi word semi auto, fully auto tu, you kena mention juga tadi, eh. Okay, itu pun situ lah. Itu anda performance lah. Uh, itu power requirement mesti ada. Production rate tadi. Another sentence will be production rate. The production rate is uh, how much you production rate mean you punya how, I, how much you want to feed lah. Is it per cow that as I mentioned just now. Other statement on that. Eh? Per one row I shot, one shot, 10 cows. Uh, so I thought you know better because you visit the industry. So what is your, actually what is your, you, you tengok, you tengok manually they handle that. 
you you study the way the manual they handle how dia punya dia punya work rate dia the worry of dia punya workers kan dia punya worker they do the labor bedwilling apa the manual labor manual work they feed the the cattle for cow or you think oh, at one shot how many cows they can they can uh, at one shot when they do the manual work they feed the cow how long they can feed uh, total 10 cows nampak tak you can do okay that is manual work tapi your machine have to be much better you want to do auto saw dia perlu okay you can from there you have a benchmark how how many you punya production rate per per one minute how many cow can be produced understand that guys understand what i mean you boleh predict you boleh judge you and you and your team understand that yeah it's a production rate ah uh, you boleh judge walaupun you haven't generate idea pasal dia guideline they give you requirement nanti bila you when you generate idea you don't have this kind of stuff. you tak tahu eh nanti orang tu design you discuss at the eh you tanya balik you punya team kita nak design ni how fast eh aku nak feed apa how many cows you want to feed nanti you want to just special one machine just one cow you you spend so much uh, effort to do this machine only one cow you need kalau at the end you punya concept better do manual feeding wasting cost eh your machine only can feed one cow then you might question macam eh how much quantity um, under performance will you generate ideas you might question how many quantities eh? you want to our target per, is it just per cow only ke our machine can deal with 10 cows ke ah uh, ada guideline in your pds ada statement there nampak tak you ada statement as a guide that that is statement showing under performance this machine this device or this our this system can operate can feeding minimum berapa cows ah uh, you can write like that minimum rate and to the maximum of buffer per one shot nampak tak nampak tak ada saya guys nampak tak kelas so, detail lah apa kuman eh nampak? Ah ha, itu contoh satu itu pun saya saya bercakap aja kau orang ada lima orang saya bercakap kau orang lima orang lagi banyak lagi banyak wording dia apa lah eh jadi performance tu banyak lain per lain per lain okay, tu cakap ha, tapi ah ha, okay. performance juga power eh power you punya power 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 also performance ada speed tak speed speed pun is a performance speed of your machine ah ha, dia kena mengena dengan production dia speed ah ha, speed tu sebenarnya kalau you nak design sports car kalau sports car dia punya performance dia speed lah ha. Okay, you punya bukan speed. Speed of your machine, production rate lah I mentioned. Speed of your machine. You want to focus on, you have a range. You want to focus on how many can feeding, how many cows per, per operator. Uh, to feed speed of your machine. Power consumption, speed, lagi performance. Satu lagi before, itu yang center number six tau. Power production rate tu center number six and seven. Yang first five center, I just predict five center. Yang saya cakap tadi, yang I explain to you, yang you visited there yang tadi eh, kalau you record it, you tengok balik apa yang saya cakap tadi ok, jadi detail eh banyak lagi, maybe yang saya terlepas pandang ada yang perlu, ok, performance to what you mentioned to apply power this one, performance lah performance of your machine tu detail eh, that's the most important eh. what you machine, uh, tu lah kalau, and then I talking tadi buat feeding, kalau basing you ni eh, you think about it, cerita, cerita dia sama eh. ok, the second the second one is about size, ok, the size is the size of your product Okay, kalau you tengok the size, expected product size. Okay, ada dua jenis. Satu, customer requirement. Okay. Ada tak Encik Kadir when you visit you punya customer? Did they mention, I want you to design about this size. Ada tak they mention? Sazwan? Macam mana tu? Bila you visit it, you want to go for it. Ada tak Encik Sazwan? You, uh, you, ni lah the person yang ni. Sazana Fikmi. Hmm. Dia cakap dengan you, you visit it. Dia cakap kita ada limitation on size tak you punya ni? You nak design this machine ke sistem. Ada tak limitation of size? Dia tak ada pula itu. Ha? Dia macam tak ada bagi tahu lah. Tak, tak ada bagi tahu. Okay. Dia. You, you, you only survey tengok dia punya kandang dia semua kan? Okay, the size customer requirement. Okay, tadi tak ada customer requirement. Kadang-kadang there is a customer. There will be customer requirement. Contoh customer requirement when design katakan. You design an engine. Satu engine hybrid. Memang pakai, memang jimat fuel consumption. You want to mount on the car. Kata Proton. Okay, you want to mount on the MyV kata kan. Okay, you target for the MyV. Engine you untuk MyV. Upgrade dia punya performance. You design satu special engine, the low fuel consumption, dia pakai hybrid system. You punya engine ni, you nak mount dekat chassis hybrid. Jadi ada constraint on the size. There will be a constraint. Itu customer requirement. Jadi customer yang give you yang MyV punya ni lah. Produk lah. You want to design. You are design, kosa tu design dia punya engine. You want to mount on the chassis on the MyV. So make sure that you punya, when you design your engine, ada customer requirement concern on the side. Nanti when you design you punya own version of engine, memang really functioning, tetapi you don't care about the size limitation set, but it cannot be bound. 
tak ngam eh tak mount cannot be mount on the MyV punya chassis ah ha, tu tak boleh lah itu customer requirement you kena tengok apa occupying space apa limitation you can mount nicely kena ikut standard size lah customer to mount on the chassis tu contohnya lah eh jadi dalam design sebagai customer requirement ok satu lagi constraint kalau tak ada customer macam yours is tak ada no customer requirement so yours punya case is constraint imposed on design constraint imposed on design you dah visited dekat pit mail tu kan you tengok kandang lembu you look on the case the size you tengok how much they feeding the lembu that's why bila you visited the good eh, siapa yang visited about 5 or 6 person of your already visited you chart sebab tu you chartate eh, chartate count of the size of the kandang tu you chartate tak the row of lembu tu berapa you chartate tak chartate tak Length of the lembu dalam kandang the length. Saya saya lupa cakap you WhatsApp. I suppose to ask you prepare. You chatte all the dimension. Bukanlah perfect dimension. You boleh predict lah kan. Length. Kandang tu berapa row lembu? Dalam case tu, how many lembu in there? They want to fit. One row. Jadi lembu tu dia secara rawak ha random dia, dia tak tersusun sangat pun yalah yeah, that case tu pasal you involve in the case kan kandang hmm. dia in the kandang tu saiz kandang tu tak ambil ke oh narrow pass tu tak ambil ke ha, ambil. Betul, ha tapi dalam tu so, lebih kurang dalam saya lupa, saya lupa cakap dengan kau orang itu kau visit ha ha lebih kurang lapan ekor ah ha, ah lapan ekor ah laluan dia berapa jarak dia tak ambil eh Oh, tak ambil eh. Ya? Tinggi kandang dia, lembu tu, satu lembu tu satu area kan. Area dia punya, dia dia ada dia ada dia ada, dia ada partition kan. Ada partition tak within lembu-lembu tu? Uh, within the cow? Yeah. Ada partition tak? Tak ada. Tak ada. Tak ada. Okay, tak ada. Tapi ada tak ada partition kan? Tak ada. Okay, tak apa. Tak ada. Pasal kita nak design our system ni adapt to the environment tu. Ini yang constraint import nak design buat the side. Say size kandang tu, size kandang tu, the width, lembu, one one lembu tu dia occupying space berapa? Satu lembu tu space dia berapa lebih kurang? Tak apalah, you dah visited, tak apa, it's okay. You boleh can still calling him, tanya, boleh still message dia agak-agak berapa. Atau you, kalau you dah been there, it's good. You ada, dah simpan dalam kepala kan, it's already, you dah uh, ni. Remember apa dia kan, about, about berapa? Satu area occupying space on lembu tu berapa? Lembu tu in row kan? Dia macam uh, ada satu kandang besar tu, sir. Dia macam, uh, Encik Kadir tu cakap dia akan bagi plan penuh untuk satu ladang tu. Ya, yeah, okey. Okay, okay. Kalau dia bagi. Ah, okay. Kalau dia bagi, betul. Satu, satu kandang okay. besar tu, dia macam uh, semua lembu akan masuk kat situ. Dia tak ada partition yeah. antara dia macam tu. Uh, ada size tak? Mesti ada size. Uh, kalau dia bagi size, good. Kalau tak ada tu, korang kena pandai-pandai lah. Saya cakap lah, size tu kena, kena, kena predict lah. Faham, judgement. Yang macam ini sebab size. Ini yang heading size tu. Benda yang related to the product yang nak design ni. Nampak tak? Expected product saya mean bukan size machine hanya ya. Not just the size machine. Uh, the 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 kandang tu. Macam you basing pun sama. Kata you punya yang environment. Expected. Tak. I mean yang yang involved dengan. The whole kandang, the row lembu. Kalau you take all the point, the measurement is good. You put ini dalam under heading size. Nampak tak lah? All the important important points lah. Not hanya size of the machine. Okay. Machine kita haven't developed yet. Kita tak tahu what is self machine. Tetapi it depend on the the parameters that involve what we do. Macam you on the kandang tu kan. Katakan you want to design a steel machine that 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 could fulfill the performance to the whole row of the car one shot. Uh, no, you're not focus. You're not. You're not. I, I most probably you tak focus one car saja feeding. You are wasting money and doing building that kind of machine. Your punya system will be dia akan totally dia akan do it semi auto or fully auto dia akan fit the 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 row of cow for example uh, so based on your visit you already visited you know the the story there berapa dia punya one row how many cow for example one row how many cow kanan ni okey you cakap encik kadir akan bagi lah you kena communicate kepada yang you punya new new kandang kan dia akan bagi entah new kandang punya design eh hello layout apa tu Hello guys, you me or not? Cepat sikit. The whole factory. Ah, uh, Kau di dalam factory. Uh, factory tu case je lah kan? Kandang je lah. Hmm. Uh, you kena check lah the dimension. Eh, Kena check on the dimension. Nanti you kena tahu eh, that layout tu. Pasal dia, dia tu will affect uh, the size of your punya system tu. You kena tahu. 
Uh, jadi whatever important point saja, everything related about size of ni tu, you kena put dalam under size lah. Eh, under heading size. Faham tak? Tadi performance. Okay, sekarang the size. Yang ini related about the size tu. The size pandang, pasal ini will, this, ini adalah, this will be your guideline. Be, be, uh, for you to generate concept, uh, nanti you kena tengok this is a guideline about the size. So, this is the size of the case. So, you punya team member and uh, ni kan, you and your team member will not ask basically. You know that, already stated dah. Under heading size. Understand eh, client? And it's related about the size, put it there. Line per line. Faham tak? Jarak between lembu, kalau boleh lah. Jarak, jarak between lembu and lembu. Between cow and cow. Again, the row punya size. Tak, tak ada lah, not too much detail. Yang important je. Understand? Clear eh, guys? Faham eh? Class. Yang lain dengar tak? Dengar ke ni yang lain ni? Alright, good. Uh, that's what sign. Dia kata we put there. Pasal you punya PDS, jangan shallow guys. Tengok, I read you punya PDS. PDS macam markah tau. 15. 5, 5 marks. 15 marks. 5, 5 marks. 5 marks you lose tau. Eh, jangan lose you punya 5 marks. Kalau PDS you detail, complete full point saya pergi. Kalau PDS shallow, uh, low marks lah you dapat. Eh? Uh, ni, size. Okay, then what is weight? Uh, weight. Okay, product. What's about weight? Weight ni, Okay, sir, I haven't designed this in the concept. Macam mana I want to know the weight of my machine, my system? Tak, weight ni, anything yang related. Okay, ada tak customer requirement? Ada tak cik ada cakap tentang weight? Tak ada juga kan? Macam size tak ada kan? Weight ni something yang involved dengan your design. Customer, constraint imposed. Ni, you under constraint imposed on design. Okay, constraint imposed on design. It means anything you want. Not just, pasal nak cakap the weight of our machine pun boleh. Kadang-kadang, when you design a machine, You boleh letak statement under weight. Eh? Weight yang mana you expected your product weight. Pasal kadang-kadang, bila kalau you tak ada statement, if you, you don't put any statement in your PDS under heading weight, you don't put a statement, a guideline there, you need a guideline. Nanti when you generate ideas, nanti, under under concept to design saja, you generate ideas. And your concept is good. People like your frame, your team member like it, very good. And you become champion. You are selected as a final design. Or maybe you combine ideas with your team member. Finally, then. Tapi both, all of you neglect about weight. No, I need. So you might end up, you punya device, your machine, good in function. Memang really brilliant ada function. Tetapi in term of the punya, the weight itself, it cannot be, uh, it is too heavy or too something not not uh, suitable weight. So sometimes maybe you want your machine to be portable, right? Katakan you want to, this one can be mount to different size. So it means your machine is a, Uh, cannot be transferred. Uh, it's sometimes they're it. Because you too much focus on term of the functionality, function of the machine, but you neglect in term of the weight. You don't have a guideline of what is your expected weight should be not more. Maximum weight. Apa ni? Dia punya not more then. You tak ada target weight. Okay, to know about the machine target weight, you can look at existing product lah. Product, katakan you design a beach cleaning device. You tengok lah, current existing beach cleaning device, what is the expected dia punya weight. Kadang-kadang dia punya beach cleaning, contoh lah, kalau project you beach cleaning device, you beach cleaning device might have to, maybe your beach cleaning device, ada uh, existing product, dia dia been pulled by a tractor. A tractor, a tractor will pull dia punya device. So, dia boleh dia collect the beach. Uh, so, this your punya, your punya unit yang beach cleaning device will be attached to the tractor. So, the tractor tu, they have a pin. A kingpin, eh? a pin, dia punya hook at that. Tapi kalau you punya ni too much weight, jadi the director want to pull, patah dia punya, the hook will get broken. Pasal you too heavy. Nampak? You punya machine, beach cleaning device is too heavy. Because you don't focus on weight. Uh, you don't know, you don't care. You just focus on the functionality of the machine. But you don't know what is the standard weight. You tengok, you haven't made a study, what is the existing beach cleaning device about what weight. You don't focus to because you you open your machine have to be pulled by tractor the tractor what is the maximum capacity that you can pull your punya device uh, that's example we jadi you kena mesti ada you kena you kena ada study okay we say your machine must be, must be pulled by tractor so what is the dia punya maximum capacity the tractor can pull ah uh, that because your weight plays apa will apa play effect on the the force pulled by the tractor so the weight ah uh, that's example the weight too you can expect it at this moment You can look on existing product, on standard product lah, something similar product. Ha, itu pun boleh. Itu you can do. You can put, okay, then the weight, you can put the weight is no normal. The simple statement, the weight is not more than berapa kilogram. Ha, itu contoh weight. Okay, your case ni macam mana weight? You punya, okay, cattle, apa ni, cow feeding dan cow feeding. Why is the, ada tak concept weight? Apa benda tak? Apa kita put statement on weight? Macam ku, you, macam you doing feeding and feeding ada ada constraint impose on weight lah. macam you punya design machine apa yang impose on you punya design 
sponsor involved. Is it the weight of the car? If maybe one your maybe your team member will design a machine, the car will be will be placed on the top of the platform of your machine. Maybe who knows again? Yeah, much amazing though, for example. Maybe maybe again. Understand that guy what I mean? Ah, uh, it could be like that also. Tapi may you basing that to my system. Lah. Tapi maybe, kalau katakan you punya machine, you were dealing dengan cows, apa constraint imposed on design in terms of weight? You understand know what I mean? Apa statement you want to put under heading weight? Important statement as a guideline for you generate ideas in there. Macam ada, ada limit, ada requirement lah. Macam you ada target weight. So, I cakap, kalau you tak fokus on weight pun, be careful, you have a danger juga. Katakan, you put the system, you mention ni, kemudian uh, bila, bila when you mount it at a place, and bila dia ni, then because of the weight, and it cannot be transferred, it cannot be placed at another point, it can operate. That's one thing I could predict lah kalau you punya case. Bila you want to mount, to, they have a different... You want they want to transfer to different rows. This is a range of cows, and okay, they want to they want they don't have enough money to buy two machines. They want to use the same machine. Uh, Katakan you more focus on feeding. You don't care about weight. Uh, tapi bila they want to mount on the different the punya operating point, different different cage. You want to use the same machine. It cannot easily be transferred. Cannot be transferable. Not quite portable lah. Uh, so that's why yang itulah statement about weight kita. I hope you understand guys. Eh? Maybe, maybe, yeah lah, maybe the weight of the cost too, maybe kind like imposed on your design also lah, it depends lah. Tapi, um, I don't think so, most probably you punya cow tu akan place on your other platform, cow, I think you punya more more open system, right? Tu lah kan, you punya machine ni more open. Tak ada lah, I think the cow tu will be step on the platform, and you base, or you feed the cow, I'm, I don't think so. Tapi, whatever thing lah, there is constant imposed on weight, Okay, you want to the you your machine to be easy transferable, can easy transfer to another point. Now you can consider weight. Clear, tak guys? Pang tak? Kalau you punya case untuk yang kau handling ni, understand tak? Hello. Okay, put what statement. Okay, that's about it. Eh? Right. Okay, then I think about material. Eh? Material is about okay. What is material? Pasal dalam dalam PDS you don't put solution. Eh? Material is what you put. As, at least you put a general. Eh? What this thing already ada dalam your kepala dah already you team member dia. Uh, you might ask, apa jangan do do not put uh, pasal you punya machine, you punya system or you punya device operate at what apa dia punya condition dia, dia operate kat mana? How is it outdoor indoor? Macam you yang feeding outdoor indoor. Indoor kan? Feeding indoor kan? Hello. Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay, basing outdoor indoor. Sekarang dia buat indoor tapi uh, untuk mesin tu dia nak buat outdoor. Okay, manual indoor untuk basing. Basing tapi for your basing they want you to do it outdoor. Yeah. Itu customer be careful eh. Customer dia komen kita design for customer tau eh. Bukan uh, for something you not for the market eh. Kita for customer. Okay. Dia they strongly want you to do basing for outdoor. Betul tak? Or both, or both cases. You mean both cases? Untuk, untuk basing je. Feeding akan indoor juga. Feeding akan indoor atau outdoor? Feeding untuk mandi tu dia minta outdoor tapi untuk feeding feeding makan tu dia indoor. Dia indoor. Ah, okay. Hmm. Jadi be, be careful. Basing your customer want it outdoor. Obey them. Okay. So okay. Basing you punya you punya focus on outdoor. So material kalau you want to operate outdoor you punya material ni must withstand apa? Outdoor condition. Of course, you punya wetty condition. You basing the cows. You punya machine ni memang kena air lah. Wet punya environment lah. Basah punya environment. Humidity high semua. Outdoor. Apa outdoor apa? apa outdoor apa condition outdoor? Okay, satu lagi air. Basah air. Okay, outdoor apa dia punya ni? Apa dia punya environment outdoor? Humidity dia. Panas dia. Hujan dia kan. Temperature. Even pressure. Air pressure pun kalau ada lah. Import kalau ni lah kan. Ah, jadi, what type of material can withstand this kind of condition? Okay, feeding cerita lain ayat, saya tak nak masa nak explain bos. Sekarang ni saya cakap cerita basing. Jadi, feeding faham-faham je lah cerita macam ni eh. Okay, basing. Kalau you punya outdoor ni, what type of material yang boleh withstand this kind of condition? 
Book, jangan cakap solution eh. Jangan cakap we must make this one of fully aluminium. Pasal aluminium tangkarat kan? No. No, no. That is solution. Aluminium dah already solution. Tapi kita general statement. Open and the statement. Okay. Apa statement kita buat? Okay. Comfort outdoor apa material? Apa macam statement kita buat? Jangan, jangan cakap what material ni. Ha, kita cakap apa? Pasal ni guideline. Nanti you or your team member when you read under material. You faham? Oh, okay. Nanti I want to generate my sketch. I don't know. Okay. My, my concept idea ni material apa uh, uh, that you read the PDS and the material uh, dia ada dia ada peraturan dia ada guideline dia ada statement cakap this machine or this system or the device can be made apa saya cakap tadi kalau ada apa cerita cakap saya lakukan kemalah guys akan saya bercakap ni kamu lah kau orang projek ni bukan saya kamu guys Ah, uh, can we stand? Ah, uh, the material can we stand? Apa? Ah, atau atau benda lah mana? Cantik ayat dia cantik eh, jangan ni eh ayat dia jangan berjelas panjang. Nice concept yang clear. Jadi you team member datang tiba tiba oh, okay apa? So this kind of material lah. Uh, nanti dia akan generate his or her own idea. So dia tahu lah dia ada oh, okay. This is the material okay. Good, apa? Understand? Eh? Itu so, banyak lah. Mungkin, mungkin itu of rigidity. Uh, ada rigidity tak kalau basic? Contoh. Uh, tak ada apa strength requirement tadi. Satu lagi. Strength, tadi saya cakap tentang environment. Eh. Strength requirement. What is strength requirement? Untuk untuk basic ada perlukan strength. Perlu kuat tak? Basic system. Kalau you design the system or machine untuk base the 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 cow. What type of strength, strength requirement that we need? Yang tadi saya cakap satu lagi. Ini satu lagi. Tentang strength. What is strength requirement? You want to be a cow. Bila you already visited the place at the end. Macam mana how do you be a cow? Dia menu doing menu job kan? Oh. Tak, sebenarnya saya pun tak faham. Kenapa dia menu dia bas manually. So apa dia nak solve kan? Problem dia apa? Ah, kita nak solve. Ah, uh, uh, masalahnya ialah bila dia bas manually tu, hmm. uh, apa? Lembu-lembu tu dia akan bergerak-gerak tau. Jadi oh. Untuk pastikan lembu tu yeah. bersih agak susah. Ya. Yeah. So, apa yang Okay, okay, okay. Yang... I pause you. Boleh? Sorry, sorry. Saya pause you kat situ. Lembu hmm. tu bergerak-gerak. Ah, ha, itu important point tu. Itu anda performance ada letak tu. Mesin, faham tak? Basic. Faham, faham tak? Ah, ha, itu anda performance. Ah, ha, sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. Proceed, proceed. Lembu tu bergerak. Okay, proceed. Tak apa, nanti saya proceed saya silap. So, uh, so ah. untuk pastikan lembu tu bersih agak susah lah bila dia bergerak-gerak macam kan. So, the concept uh, yang Encik Kadir ni nak ialah bila kita bawa lembu tu uh, in a straight line, uh, going hmm. macam from the feeding place tu, ah. dia okay, akan dapat. Ah, straight line tu ada dalam performance eh. Tak, saya sana ah. saya, saya takut saya lupa. Nampak tak? Itu important point tu, bergerak-gerak. Tu semua ada performance tu ada. Kan cakap yang performance kan, buat machine tu, yang you cerita ni, tadi kan, itu semua tu important points tu, under, so you make nice sentence, per line, per line, yang straight line, this machine, masa buat, okay, siapa proceed, kita ni buat material pula, okay, proceed, lepas tu. Okay, uh, uh, kemudian, uh, dia macam konsep dia, dia macam nak buat macam car wash lah, macam, so, yeah, bila dia jalan okay. je, along, along the straight line, dia akan mandikan lembu tu, so bila sampai je tempat, Uh, untuk peras susu tu, uh, lembu tu mesti dah bersih lah macam tu. So dia, right. dia daripada kalau sekarang ni memang man, memang manual dia ambil masa dalam 2 jam lebih dah selesai. 2 jam 40 minit macam tu. Untuk Alright. Hmm. Okay. Okay. okay yang tadi awak cerita kat car wash tu pun important point letak dalam performance juga. Car wash, lembu bergerak-gerak tu semua dalam letak dalam performance eh. Remember guys yang lain eh. Ha, ni cerita bedding. Feeding pun ada cerita. Saya tak tahu ini bawa awak yang bercerita pasal bedding. Feeding pun saya tanya. Anda saya tak? Yang performance tadi, yang jadi performance tu, yang cerita yang you want concept of other statement. statement. Tapi bukan solution ni, faham tak maksud saya? Under performance tadi. Okay, kita ni buat material sekarang ni. Material ni cakap dalam butuh bergerak-gerak, jadi dia dalam car wash. In car wash tu, kemudian easy dia can go for milking lah. After that, after that milking lah kan? Ready for milking lah kan? Dalam butuh dah clean, betul tak? Am I right? Betul tak? Betul. Hello? Ha? Betul. Betul. Alright, okay. Dia dah kawal wash, dia in raw kan? Okay, sekarang ni, I, sekarang kita I'm talking about material punya. Material, okay, in terms of the strength. Kalau dia bergerak-gerak, you punya machine ni kan kena, apa ke type of strength requirement? 
Tahan lah kot sebab kalau ah, yeah. Boleh tahan Put a sen- Make a sen- yeah, make a sentence or that under material Faham tak yang lain? Faham tak? Under heading materials Material requirement tu Maksud dia you punya material you use Component Dia boleh withstand apa type of strength yang perlu Understand tak? When you operate your machine Lembu tu bergerak-gerak And dia boleh tahan So your system can be ada fans kan Your system ni not, not should be focus one machine It could be a uh, one complete system. There are the fans, sorry, kan? So, you punya fans yang ada yang lembu roll lah tu. So, all these fans ni rigidity tu bagi memang of course lah. Kena strength now. Jadi, you bukan buat, you punya statement ada material ni. It's not about solution. A statement about requirement lah. So, this machine, uh, this system, apa benda, can withstand yang you cakap tadi. Faham tak? You understand what I'm talking about? Under material. This about material requirement. You, you tak cakap material apa? The material of this machine can be made of a material. Contohnya lah, the material of this machine or system uh, can be made. You tak cakap metal, you don't know that. You, you can be metal, can be plastic and so on. Can be pasal, maybe metal, maybe, you don't know. Tapi itu solution. Kalau you cakap metal, solution. This material of this machine can be made or the, of the system can be made of any material as long as they can withstand uh, yang uh, you bercerita tadi. Faham tak? Okay? Ada tak, Nen? Dia macam ada, dia center tu macam guideline tau. Panduan. What? You kena tulis. Pasal ini memang ada dalam kepala. Memang you have in way that ada. Tetapi, tak di jotted down. Nanti, you team member nak generate ideas. You dah tengok, ah, tertulis. Ah, tahu lah. Aku clear. They never asking you basic question. Nanti, actually, team leader. You punya team member ni yang tak buat kerja, dia ask you the question yang basic-basic. You malah nak layan dia. Kau, kau, you punya answer, kau baca tak PDS? Kalau kau tak baca lah, aku ketuk pada kau. Itu dia lah macam tu lah contoh dia lah. Read the PDS. Everything is there. Read. Ha, dah tahu. Bila PDS dia baca. Simple. Read PDS. Ayat dia is simple. Simple macam tu. You easy understand. Okay. But imagine. Oh, I can use okol. Oh, yeah. Lembu bergerak. Eh, moving. Yeah, nah, can we start. Okay. Okay. I generate ideas. Nampak tak? This all guideline tu guys. Guideline. So important. This all PDS important. Okay. Product cost. Okay. Faham eh? Just about material. Okay, sama lagi. Product cost. Product cost, okay. This is a price. Okay, you belum price of your own product. You belum, you belum develop lagi. Eh? You might say, sir, I have a concept. Macam mana I want to know about product punya total cost in the market? Tak apa. You boleh preliminary estimate apa you punya product ni. Okay, Who, who's going to buy you punya product ni? Siapa yang akan Siapa akan beli? Okay, you might ask me, sir, product ni pasal kita tak tahu. We want to manufacturing cost. Cause sebenarnya cost ni dia very sensitive. Ada direct cost, direct cost. Direct cost about raw material you punya apa ni bahan mentah raw material to produce you, to make your machine uh, you punya uh, labor cost uh, uh, dia ada satu indirect macam power consumption electricity use apa uh, labor cost upah pekerja itu indirect direct kau ni macam raw material macam machine you pakai machine punya cost uh, semua itu direct cost atau itu the total dia ada calculation total kau tukar itu akan decide out what is the total price of the product in the market. Tapi yang price, product cost ni is about the price product in the market. Walaupun you have benda product. Kan? Macam mana, sir, I want to know the price of the product in the market. Tapi kadang-kadang, when we design a product, we want our product ni to be, macam mana kita cakap to be boleh dijual. Good to be, uh, can be sell. Kalau kita buat our product is so good, very brilliant, memang function, very good, memang working semua. Tetapi kita, the price is not right. Ha, katakan, the price is so expensive or the price is too low. Too low, kita don't make profit. The price is too high. Eh? Price bila sell. Pasal kita punya R&D, kita biar doing R&D. Oh. Dan kemudian our own company, kita under one organization, at the end, they really the price depend on kita punya, kita boleh estimate. Oh. Kita boleh estimate. Before kita belum develop concept ni, kita this kind of product, what is the dia punya price expected in the market? Understand yang ni, guys? Pasal nanti kita boleh target. Nanti kita nak manufacturing cost, direct cost, kita boleh calculate. Kita boleh budget dekat situ. Kita boleh recalculate balik. Pasal, okay, this price kita nak sell on the market to be like this. Ini pun term also, eh. Mesti ada. Macam you punya product ni, you can expect. Macam mana, what is the price? Pasal, okay, for example, you might ask me, sir, we just want to design for Zainal Fikmil. They want us to solve the problem. We don't know about the price of this product. Okay, let's think about like this. Kalau you jangan Encik Kadir, kalau katakan you ada customer, you want to buy my machine, what do you expect? You punya, dia punya, apa, you punya, untuk, untuk farm punya industri lah. Similar product, similar company lah, Zainal Fikmil kan. 
they handling they want to use you being sister kata they want to buy you punya ni pasal dia they all similar similar company like saya nak email dia ada doing manual they have to, they have the same problem okay they want to solve this problem by doing semi auto or fully auto you punya system or you punya device or what do you expect this kind of thing the price tu kat market berapa harga ni tahu tak boleh tak buat survey faham tak guys Benda ni tak ada ratus lah kan, betul tak kan? Tak ada lah, tak ada ratus, lima ratus, enam ratus. Ini ribu-ribu, tapi ribu-ribu-ribu. So, berapa ribu? Kan? Understand tak guys? Faham tak? Kelas, are you listening or not? Uh, Faham? Ada survey yang ha. latest. Ah, ha, survey ha. lah. Macam, kalau tak ada existing product, on survey, this kind of product ni lebih kurang, um, apa tu, uh, kalau ada company nak beli lah kan. Kalau kau jual, if you put the price too low, you tak nak make profit. Kalau you too high, people nak buy. What is the, tengoklah the trend. Itulah yang, yang cakap. Ada student from Ahib tu kan. Itulah, kalau you punya team sebenarnya mati di sini. Sebenarnya design ni, I think kau ingin, you're not just for the record. In the real world, in the industry, yeah? you involve a design team. You're working a, a design company, big design company. Macam Dyson, you're working on Dyson. You ada design team, memang macam ni. You prepare PDF, you ada a lot mati. To prepare this PDS, it involves a lot of team members. Ada from manufacturing, ada people from sales. People from sales yang akan tahu. People from marketing yang akan tahu. Macam kalau saya cakap ada collaboration dengan student from AHIP ni kan. Dia are student from marketing and management, dia tahu. Ha, this guy dia tahu. Dia boleh estimate. Pasal dia deal dengan client tau. Dia deal dengan market. Bukan kalian, dengan market. They know more about marketing. Dia tahu this kind of product. Dia orang banyak buat research on this. Ha, tapi tak apalah kalau kita ada group dia kena tahu jugalah basically you have to expect what what, what is the uh, product cost in the market. Boleh walaupun kita have a design kita kena target nanti kita we don't want to end up our final design nanti too much expensive nanti at the end memang good function memang good memang boleh solve problem tetapi tak ada dia punya limitation of price kita tak ada target price. Understand tak? Kita mesti ada target price. Nanti too much expensive. Or maybe Ha, itulah the problem is too much expensive lah kita boleh tahu. People will not buy eh. Pasal uh, kind of uh, complicated dia punya product expensive lah. Dia punya direct coin, direct coin semua total on. Kita neglect dia punya total. Kita kena tengok dulu berapa target. Pasal at the end price in the market tu berapa. Harga on the market. Jadi kita boleh adjust kita punya cost of manufacturing dia. Kita boleh adjust macam tu. Understand eh class? So ada statement cakap sebab dia punya estimate price. Eh? Itu important lah. Okay. Okay, next one is customer. Customer is who who will buy? Who gonna buy tadi? Siapa yang buy? Okay, you nak target. You buy product ni sebenarnya susah pun sama. Untuk sajana fit ni saja ke for the sake of all farm industry, the similar industry? Okay, cepat sikit. Okay, macam mana? Cakap, cakap. Saya nak, any ex, saya nak respond ni. Come on. For all. All, all tak boleh. All, siapa dia? What type of industry yang akan buy? Sajana. <coughs> Yeah, so Jennifer, you want to design actually for, katakan eh, guy, you are group of five, you are design consultant. You for the sake of Jennifer fit me dia juga. Tak kan? Ah, yes, yes, kan. You nak sell you punya product, you design consultant, you make this product. Okay, for this case, you can memang lah Jennifer fit me, your client. You must want to sell you punya product. You akan deal dengan menu, you tak ada facility nak manufacture, you boleh deal dengan manufacturing. You design consultant aja, you register company, you tak ada problem. Make sure semua ada IR lagi bagus. Orang boleh trust you kan. You group of five. You form a company. register. You buat design process ni. You visit sekarang. Okay. You want to sell product. You punya manufacturing. You tak perlu cari mesin. You deal dengan any manufacturer. You deal the collaboration dengan you. So you deal assignment. So dia ada share lah. Bila you release produk tu jual. Dia ada dapat persen. Tapi you design you nama your own company. You collaboration lah dengan ni ni. Mutual under agreement dengan dia punya manufacturing company. Pasal manufacturing. Any manufacturing company. They have a tool. They have a blessing machine. Drilling machine. Semua. Okay, tu cerita, okay. Tu cerita satu. You want, let's say, my point is, you tak design pada sarjana female, eh. You, you design ni untuk to sell you punya product. Siapa nak beli? Benar. Ah, company like sarjana female. Apa nama dia company? Ni company ni kategori what industry? Farming. Hadangan. Farm. Tenakan. Ah, tenakan. Ah, tahu sebutlah. Put a sentence on that. Who this, who will buy this product, okay? Eh? Customer. Eh? Alright, eh? One sentence tak apa? Clear. Nanti awak team member clear lah siapa untuk sell produk untuk siapa. Siapa. Ni apa industri ni? Farm industri. Kita tak baca. Farm pun tu general. What farm? Cattle, landling. Cattle. Kata you fokus kan. You punya ni basing. Kata, katakan be careful lah. You punya ni basing. Un, basing lah untuk cow lah. Satu feeding kan. Jadi siapa potential customer lah you list down. Alright. Can we tap in the new segment of the market? Ah, Mungkin you boleh tap a new segment. Maksud dia. 
even you design machine, dekat sini. Ah uh, satu lagi you letak siapa potential yang akan buy macam sarjana fitnil. Eh for sarjana fitnil kategori apa apa punya farm industry? Can you tap into a new segment? Maksud dia awak punya cow basing ataupun cow feeding boleh adjust kepada kuda tak? <laughs> kambing. Boleh apply kepada kambing tak? Ah <laughs> contohlah. Kalau boleh bagolah kerbau ada ternak kerbau eh? ada unta kan. Boleh implement tak? Ha, macam tu. Eh. Mm, kalau ada, kalau boleh lah. Mungkin you punya machine ni, you design dia. Dia boleh, you punya sistem tu boleh di... Kalau untuk cow, you maybe you ada different size lah. Tetapi kalau untuk for camel, katakan contohnya lah eh, camel yang different uh, different kind of animals. For tenakan, for apa lagi untuk... Oh, ni? Uh, apa? apa? Selain daripada lembu apa? Kambing kan? Ha, kambing. For kambing boleh tak? Lu punya mesin ni, uh, potential dia macam ada new dealer. Dia boleh di-adjust kan? I understand what I mean? Ha, so, itu, itu potential customer. You put statement sini. Eh, potential dia ni. Kalau boleh, letak sini. Understand eh? Try eh? Boleh eh? Alright? Okay. Next one boleh eh? Saya, saya one by one saya next one boleh eh? Sikit lagi. Okay. Customer safety. Alright. Another one is safety. Safety is about... Okay. Kadang-kadang mesin ni, I'm talking about more on mesin. Kalau mesin ni punya operator ni, You ada hazard tak? Ada ada boleh harm the operator. Kalau you punya kau ni, ada 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 kind of hazard. Hello guys. Ada ada. Basic. Ada hazard, ada apa-apa hazard ada. pada ni. Hmm? Yes. Ada sensitif pada tengah lebu tu. Ah. Ada sensitif pad. Apa? Ah dia hazard operator hazard lah. Jadi kalau ada symptom of safety lah, safety operator hazard. Kalau kata walaupun you haven't you haven't have not apa generate concept yet, tapi you ada statement macam guideline bagi kai like the ada kalau uh, for you macam basing the cow tu kan. Kita tak um, macam yang cakap lembu tu bergerak-gerak something like that. Uh, uh, itu operator itu ada tak macam something uh, ada safety ni lah. Expected product safety requirement eh. Safety requirement. Kalau you, walaupun you haven't generate concept that, okay. Tapi you boleh buat something like guideline lah. To make sure that concept generated by each team member. Eh, uh, to make sure that dia ada kind like, kena consider about safety lah eh. In term of operator tu. Ada statement mention ini on that. Okay. Doktor. Uh, safety safety huh? ni untuk operator je Uh, itulah, kalau dia, macam, hmm. macam kalau daripada segi hmm. untuk haiwan tenakan tu kan, kalau macam hmm. untuk yang untuk betting tu kan, takut hmm. nanti kalau melukakan hmm. bahagian-bahagian lain. Hmm. Tak, tak, tak. Dia bukan hanya operator. Pasal yang yang saya explain yang slide ni untuk kalau you design machine kan, machine, machine, bending machine, you design uh, chopper machine kan, uh, itu operator as a, operator je lah human yang on the machine ni yang operate you punya machine. Tapi yang you punya case ni lain, you punya lah dua. Satu operator yang satu the cow itself. Pasal you are handling uh, living animal kan. Living things kan. Bukan you are not handling material not living things. Uh, pasal you ada dua case. Yang betul lah you cakap. Uh, not just operator. Satu lagi hazard kepada cow tu. Isa pun, pun ada. Uh, jadi you ada statement kat sini lah. You have to put statement about the safety requirement lah. Uh, just a general statement lah. Safety requirement uh, to make sure. Dia bukan solution eh. But guys, eh? you might confuse. Ini pening kepala. Uh, ini macam nak letak solution. Saya nak dia buat solution. You punya statement like like a reminder. Faham tak? Requirement. Reminder tak. Make sure that bila you generate idea. You tengok under safety ni to make sure that dia avoid. Mungkin boleh harm the cows. Mungkin boleh harm the operator. Faham tak? Make sure that. Bila you operate, when you wash, uh, macam contoh lah, you can put a statement, di avoid, uh, macam dia banyak word like avoid. Faham tak? Ada saya, kalau you listen on it, word macam try to avoid, this machine must avoid, avoid, uh, avoid having sharp corners that might, 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 hurt, might, hurt, might hurt the cows or the predator, avoid yang any moving parts. Uh, macam tu lah, ada saya tak? Safety ni banyak word avoid, avoid, avoid. Faham tak? Hello class. Ah, ah, dia buat safety. Ah, dia, dia betul lah. Ada dua. You punya ada dua. You satu operator. Mungkin operator bila lembu-lembu bergerak-gerak pun. Kind you ada. Dia bukan solution. It's not about solution. It's about something like you give a kind like you can predict lah. It's not about solution. You don't know yet. Tetapi the total behavior of the cow. 
what what you might predict what the worst thing might happen kata the the gerak-gerak bila dia spray the wash uh, do you kind kind like ada guideline in term of safety uh, macam avoid that uh, it will save you make sure that the operator is safe and the cow is safe you will not harm the cow uh, any statement like, dia banyak word like avoid sharp corner avoid uh, moving part and so biasalah kalau machine machine ni eh, avoid sharp corner avoid all moving part kalau ada machine yang chopping chopping machine yang punya banyak benda yang particle yang apa when they chop chop uh, to make sure ada enclosed shape tak hurt operator lah tu contohnya avoid have sharp corner avoid all all the moving moving corner must be enclosed by apa ni in case in case ada enclosed inilah ada cover by inilah you punya component tu mesti benda-benda yang a lot of chopping dia mesti ada enclosed area lah dia tak ada open eh jadi dia kan of word dah, dia kan of word. Tapi you punya case lain, you punya cow basing, cow feeding. Understand eh? So about. Alright, the next one is aesthetic. Aesthetic is about the appearance eh. Aesthetic about the appearance. Appearance is sometimes, okay, when you design a product, kadang-kadang the first perception of the customer, when they look at the product, the first thing, they are not looking at the functionality of your machine. Uh, the first thing, bila when people want to see your punya product, the most, the punya first thing, Impression dia is the appearance of your product. Uh, kalau you punya product memang good in functionality, memang good, memang working punya eh, memang, memang sophisticated machine. Tetapi when people look, the first appearance of the machine look like scientific instrument. Macam saya cakap macam NASA punya equipment, scientific nak hantar for Mars, a lot of gadget-gadget things. People, do you think people will, apa ni, apa tu, will buy your product tak? Again, The appearance also sometimes plays a role, eh, guys. Eh? The appearance. Ini yang comes yang you punya team member yang strong in aesthetic, like for industrial designer, for example. Eh? Kalau you have a team member in industrial design, he's good on this. The, ni, ni bukan, we are not talking about solution yet, eh? tapi kita buat a guideline. Kita give a, turn under heading aesthetic, kita make a statement that make sure that our product can represent Uh, the appearance, you make a statement, the appearance, the color, the shape that represent, ini apa kan, apa machine, you punya heavy duty machine industry apa, uh, steel, steel manufacturing company ke apa punya, you punya machine ni entah apa, you punya system or device ni, entah apa ni, you punya ni heavy duty machine apa, you punya industrial punya machine or apa, farm punya machinery kan, you punya ni kan, anda saya tak ambil guys, Betul-betul. Farm industry kan? You make a statement macam guideline aja. Pasal memang ni all is in your head already. Tetapi you, you might lose it. To make it not lose, you jot it down. To jot down, put under heading in the setting. So you and your team member read, yes, you are aware of this. Understand? Appearance of the product. You make sure that ni macam the product tu uh, represent. Kadang-kadang banyak eh, the product they release on the market, dia tak represent the total industry that product involved. Kan, people the parent, pasal the first impression, people want to buy our product, to make people attracted to our product, is the parent of our product. Kalau our product not, does not, it works, it works, it can feed the cows, it can base the cows, tetapi the appearance, in term of the form, the shape, the color, the color also, the form, Uh, the shape. Itu, itu is concept letter lah. Itu concept letter until you punya individual concept which your team member generate. Tetapi you ada guideline center to make sure when you generate ideas nanti, you obey the statement. Uh, you obey, you make a statement that make sure that uh, the appearance, the product, the appearance tu memang represent the, what we call it, the the industries the that you are involved in. Understand tak? Kita don't want to make our product look more like scientific instrument, betul tak kan? It's more like like steel industries punya machine, like a, a, apa tu, milling machine. Kita the one our system that represent. At least you have a statement represent. Eh? Uh, benda tu dia represent the, apa tu, the industry apa ini. Eh? Dia punya appearance, dia punya form and shape. Kalau you tak buat statement nanti, nanti you punya team member, you want you to make, you don't care. Memang dia more focus on functionality. Tapi they have a lot of this, uh, ni lah, it looks weird lah, looks weird, it looks weird, dia appearance, dia punya konsep sketching that dia, dia ni, 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 he also selected as a final design. Tetapi the appearance dia punya ni, when you assemble the system, it looks like, like, like something does not represent the, it's more like, tu lah cakap, more like different gadgets and different like scientific instruments instead of the, eh, so ada, ada statement ni, you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, aesthetic ni. Eh? Okay, maintenance is about maintenance. Eh? Maintenance ni is about um, <coughs> maintenance ni. Um, is there any maintenance required? Eh? 
Okay, maintenance. Pasal kita design parts ni, no, component kita uh, when you design a machine or system, dia dia comprises of the consists of a lot of component lah. Example together become a complete system. You punya component, all your component ni, my sometimes they already apa uh, need to be replaced, right? Need to be replaced. Uh, need to be maintenance lah. Maintenance. Is there any maintenance required? So. Jadi, under maintenance also good kalau you letak. Eh? Maintenance means that sometimes you punya machine part, part can need to be replaced. Not part can can stay forever. Need to be replaced. Make sure that you punya component-component tu, you you have a guideline. You put a statement that saying that uh, make sure that component of your machine or your system or your device uh, yang can easy be replaced. Understand? Uh, make a statement. You buat macam like a guideline. Uh, machine or component can easily be replaced, can, 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 ada uh, senang cari ganti lah, can it be replaced, can be, uh, maybe uh, try to, apa, go for standard component. Macam not all component, dalam design, kita tak fabricate all component. Not all component custom design, all component, maybe part of our component is, uh, you can use. There is a vendor, ada supplier on that, there, there, there supply. For example, your component have a wheel and caster for example kan you don't you don't fabricate wheel and caster wheel and caster kan you you punya your you punya system can easily be transport at this point macam like whiteboard dia ada wheel and caster you punya chair ada wheel and caster kan semua tray tray pun ada wheel and caster trolley ada wheel and caster macam you punya system ada okay to make sure that dia ada macam wheel and caster ni adalah ada vendor standard component ada supplier in design we don't macam you punya system have other wheel and caster you don't fabricate your wheel and caster you 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 use the standard uh, wheel and caster yang suitable dalam you punya apply in your your design so the sentence under maintenance you you didn't say detail like wheel and caster you said that all the component try to make sure that it uh, use standard component understand what i mean guys uh, that's under maintenance uh, understand that class Dia macam guideline, statement lah. Okay, kalau you punya, dia cakap, is there any maintenance required? Of, uh, kalau you punya machine, kita mesti ada maintenance kan? Is there, kalau if there ada maintenance, apa part yang you think that, uh, apa? Okay, uh, apa ada part yang kita easy to to maintain lah. So make sure that you punya component tu sahaja to, to write the word of it to make sure the company you can put the statement that make sure that component uh, in the you punya you punya system ni use a lot of uh, component that can can easily be replaced lah macam tu lah statement you put the guideline statement. Okay satu lagi in term of maintenance is the setengah ada certain part tu kadang-kadang you punya machine part breakdown eh dalam you punya machine ada satu component tu dia breakdown. Kalau dia breakdown, kadang-kadang you nak repair the machine, if you want to repair the machine, make sure that the, the machine tu can easily access, the part, the component can easily access, can easily be replaced. Yeah? That's the sentence, eh? dulu machine-machine, they design the machine, the machine breakdown, nobody can repair it. Tak boleh repair, the only they want to repair the machine, they have to transfer the machine back to the originated country. For example, the German who make the country, the, the machine, to so spend cost for the company, for the, your customer. Customer, you buy your machine million, that's it. Kemudian the machine breakdown. For them to replace the certain part, eh, ada something, they don't know which part yang make the machine fail. So, you are company you design. So, <clears throat> so for them, they, they cannot repair by themselves. So, you are the company who make that machine. You are from German, for example. Now, the company that buy your machine from Malaysia. So, they have to invite, they have to pay a lot of money. So, you have German, you send your engineer there to repair. You are the, your engineer already can already repair. Go to Malaysia. Dan kemudian repair. The, sebenarnya the problem only the screw saja tercabut. <laughs> One boat. It happen eh. It happen. So then you mean you as a design, you are a company who sell product. That's not good reputation. So you make a guideline such as easy to repair. Kalau you punya customer spend a lot of money buying your machine. You make make sure that concept you generated nanti. Kalau ada apa-apa, anything breakdown, can easily can be assessed. Okay? Can easily be replaced. Ha, ini untuk, yelah, in term of menjaga kita punya good quality product lah. Oh, product succeeded eh, customer punya feedback is good eh. Mana saya tak amin eh, maintenance. Itu itu oh, part tu kalau boleh you standard atau lagi can easily assess. You make a general statement on that. Understand kan? Faham eh? Right? 
Alright, quantity. Okay, quantity is just simple. The statement ni cakap how much quantity you want to produce kalau one one lah. Tetapi in real case, I'm explaining about real case. Kadang-kadang when you are design consultant, you design under one company. They want to release a product. You design for them this new model product, this model, this product. Okay, you under one roof organization. You you the expected people process already mentioned. Because in your team ni pre preparing this PDS, you have a lot of team. people from sales also check up. They check up, they can inform you, they can signal. The company will signal you. We want to sell this product you design, you got R&D, this product, we want to sell from 1,000 units, one shot. They want to export domestically or ni lah, they want to sell product. Uh, they want to make 1,000 units. Uh, you as a designer team, you got to know. Uh, pasal you haven't designed the product yet, tapi you got to know how much quantity you want to produce. Uh, itu pun kena, that's important also. And how many units we want to be, to produce? Itu kalau in the case agak. Tapi you fokus, you consider you punya ni kalau you, our project ni saudara so fit meal kan? Uh, so uh, how, how many units you want to produce? Macam you punya produk ni bukan mass production kan? Uh, if your product is so simple like a door handle, like a wheel and caster, that is a mass production kan? Uh, that is benda yang mass production. Memang you you design it to fabricate mass production lah a lot of quantity, big quantity lah amount. Macam your case ni, you design yang custom design. This is a design consultant and more on apa, professional punya work. Design for to solve the problem or many things. Macam this is not a mass production. Maybe for one year, kata you work under one company, for this one year, what you punya target selling price, you want to sell five unit to the farm industry. Uh, macam you dah discuss. Pasal team to prepare the PDA actually under one organization, a lot of team involved. People from sales akan beritahu, even people from production, production and sales especially, eh, dia tahu uh, from management lah, dia akan tahu how many sell you want to to, to release this product. Ah, uh, tu you kena tahu. Eh, this is a real thing. Kalau you want, tak satu saja lah. Okay, quality and reliability ni, it's more on quality. This very subjective, eh, quality in term of quality. How much kita expect our product ni kalau release, dia punya quality of our product. Because kita ni, product ni need to compete in the market kan. Eh? Maybe kita have competitors. Kita have competitors, eh? so to maintain to maintain our reputation of our product, kan? the company reputation, uh, to make, apa? we need our, kita, apa tu, follow the standard quality lah, follow the standard quality, eh? uh, kita look on the competitors product, in par lah, in par in term of the quality. So, in quantity reputation, kalau you have statement, is good lah, need people from quality and reliability engineer know better about this, uh, what kind of statement can be put in whatever of kita punya reliability record for this product. Nanti ini bila kita design, when you design, we go for fabrication. So, uh, in term of quality nanti, this quality engineer akan akan monitor, akan give a statement eh, in this PDS. As you tell, PDS in real case, I'm talking in the real industry. A lot of people involved. People, quality engineer will also involved. They, they, will, they will put statement. They can put statement in your in, in our PDS, product design spec. In term of level of quality, we will expect. Eh, bila, when you generate idea, you, can say, you will reach into this, what? Ada guideline itu of what our level of quality and reliability with 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 ni kita would expect lah. Even kita haven't generate ideas yet. Ini people from quality and reliability engineer will put the standard. Okay, okay. Standard is uh, is about okay. Standard is about I I I think I already mentioned to guys to search information about standard kan. Ada tak class? Are you still with me class? Boleh. Kita sampai pukul satu. Boleh boleh sikit lagi sikit lagi. Eh? Tapi eh? sikit. Okay. Tapi eh? Pasal ni solid lecture boleh. Okay, standard ada tak? Search about standard. Standard. ISO, ISO. Code and practice. Standard is about code and practice. Standard is about any about code and practice in terms of quality and safety. Kalau you dapat search standard, ISO and anything relevant to punya project industry that you involve is, you involve with your, your punya farm industry ni about cow handling, about cattle handling, feeding and basing. Kalau you dapat ISO practice, is good. I, I, I encourage you guys. Tapi ISO ni tengok for Malaysian standard lah. Under farm industry, you go for, for more specific under cattle handling. Maybe you can find because they, they will give you guideline. They, they will give you a guideline in terms of uh, safety when about farm machineries, in terms of standard. Maybe you call out to handle, to basing cow, they, they will give you a guideline. Maybe about what material you should choose. About what uh, in terms of safety also. Quality and safety. Eh? Safety also, they will give you guideline in terms of handling the car also. Kalau ada bagus. Kalau ada, you put, if you can get it, you put under, you don't have to put all the document standard in your PDS because under heading PDS standard, just then the line will be ISO standard number, reference number and the name of the standard. Maybe you have two standard you have. I put the next line, this standard, okay, they are already 
you already found out lah, you already got from the internet, ISO. Understand eh? Kalau you dapat any standard, you put uh, what is the reference number of the standard, then name. Okay, if your team member asks want to know about it, I give print out the document, send to them. Give to your, share to your team members, then you can know about what is it. Tapi just only put what is standard that you need lah. Okay, standard important, say, call like that. Okay, patterns, remember I ask you to search pattern, ada kan? In class, kan? Google pattern, kan? Remember class? Hello class. Yes, doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patterns. Okay, patterns. Whatever you and your team member search pattern, make sure you attempt it. Not search the same pattern, different, different one, but related to your design, your project. So you put the pattern reference number and eh? Yeah. Because pattern is about invention and eh? inventors they put the pattern. Okay, this pattern you found out is really useful uh, for your project. So you put the patterns reference number and the name. Just jot it down under heading pattern. If your team member want to know detail about the pattern, how, what is the invention? How they look? Like, what, what is the mechanism? Uh, you print out from them. Print out. Okay, at least your team member know, oh, we have the pattern. I want to look, what, what is that? But in your opinion, just put the pattern name, pattern reference number, and pattern name. Eh? The pattern. Okay, the next one is legislation. Legislation is about rule and regulation. Rules and regulation. Eh? Uh, legislation, so I ask you guys, kalau if you have any, about standard is about code and practice, about quality and safety. But legislation about rules, about regulation, uh, it's about uh, practice, eh? about regulation, maybe about cow cow handling, or cattle handling, legislation. Eh? Kalau you can find any article about legislation, how you want to handle uh, cow, for feeding the cow, for waiting, is there any kind of regulation uh, that we could follow? Uh, you can share in the, our WhatsApp group if you can find one. Eh? Just, just can, you can type on Google, eh? legislation on cattle handling. Other, you can, then you can, there you can find more specific, more on feeding or bathing. Okay, that is more on regulation. Understand? Eh? Class, boleh? Eh? Okay. Alright, class, boleh? Eh? Okay, next one is ergonomic. Okay, ergonomic is a... Ergonomic is... Okay, ergonomic is an interaction between the machine and the operator. Eh? The machine operator. That's ergonomic. Okay, remember that when you do the design brief, can When you do design brief, you have what, why, whom? What is you going to design? Why you design the home? Home is who going to use? Okay, you punya machine ni, when you visit it, industry, siapa yang pakai-pakai you punya system ni? Shazwan, are you there? Shazwan? Hello? Class? Are you there, class? Ah, siapa visit it? Bila, okay, in term of economy, siapa yang, okay, for you, basing. Kalau basing, who gonna use? Amirul, Amirul apa? Feeding or ni? Feeding. Siapa ke who gonna use you punya ni? Who gonna operate your machine? The workers there again. Ah, pekerja sana. Okay, then pekerja sana. Then kemudian dia punya what type of gender? Is it male or female? <coughs> male. Age range? Teenager, adult, kids, adult. Range age from what age to what age? Thirty. Betul eh? Thirty plus to forty. Put the the segment there. Ergonomik, pasal itu penting. Ergonomik kita kena tahu. Anda ergonomik ni, interaction between the user and, and and the machine. So, one statement kita can put under heading ergonomik is the user the user of your machine punya age, gender, dia sama age range dia, you put that. Okay? Pasal, you can put a statement eh, to make sure that uh, because ergonomik is a subject about interaction between operators and the machine. Operators is human lah. Okay, dulu from, macam dulu, when people design a car, masa World War One dulu, masa Henry Ford, when design the car, for example, when they build the car, they don't consider, dulu they don't have economic. They build the car first. They put the car, tire, engine, steam engine, then kemudian the chassis, mount the engine, and the wheels, then they design the seat. Then only the last one, they only consider about to put a driver on the car and the passenger. At the end, the product, the vehicle, the driver is not comfortable. The oper it's hard to operate the punya car to handle. It's not because they don't have the feel of ergonomic. Ergonomic right now, now we kita more ergonomic. Ergonomic make kita consider the operator first. Now when they design the car, like for example sports car, they put the driver first. Then how they design the dashboard? They really the driver can easily the steering. Just a nice size for the driver. The funny the gear knob, semua all the equipment, the interface, the level of your ni dashboard. Okay, the size of your component, everything must obey the 
to to give comfortable to the operator and the the, the one who that for for car for the driver and the passenger lah. Ah, uh, that is economic. Kita consider the 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 human first, and then kita build the surrounding. Surrounding kita build the machine, the surround that will satisfy the satisfy the operator, the human. Ah, uh, that is economic. So what should we write under heading economy? Uh, the age we know about the age of the our user. Apa lagi kita boleh cakap ini? Under economy. So saya tu buat economy. Pasal nanti you akan buat anthropometry. You will do an economic study after you punya final design nanti. Mainly it's about the age lah. Who going to, the age eh? Who's the worker going to operate your play machine? Okay. Faham eh guys eh? Boleh? Boleh sekali lagi eh? Yeah, that's about any statement about economic you mentioned here. Mainly it's about the age of the user lah. Dia punya age tu apa? And from there kita boleh work on lah. Itu to me. Uh, Okay, there are there problem areas for user operator? Can we design around them? So you make sure that you put a statement that kita design yang satisfy the the age of user lah, the range of user, the focus user that kita target on. Just make a general statement on that. And you also put a statement yang penting the statement about what is your user age and gender. Eh, age range and gender. That's important. There's another statement about you make a statement about you design that well, well, apa? Comfort lah. We design around them, something like that. Two centers enough for me. Okay, that's about it. Okay, company constraint is about company constraint is about all your company. Okay, when you are working with company, you have, you must know what is your company budget lah. Eh? So funding you punya R and D, eh? you are doing research, design, project. Eh? So what is your company budget? Maybe your company have budget eh? in terms of facilities and so on. You can be aware of that. Eh? Eh, kalau you are serani, you are just group of five. Eh? Uh, what type of constraint? Kalau you can put, what is your constraint? You are a team of five, kan? Apa you punya constraint for you to develop? You put any kind of constraint. Consider you yourself. You and your team member of five. You are a company. What is your constraint? I don't say company. You must have a machine. You have a worker. You have a staff, a department. No. Company can be you a group of five. What is your constraint? Understand me? If you have, what is your constraint for your team? If you have any constraint, would you design? State, state it. Apa you constraint? Understand that? And not necessary company. Not necessary facility. Maybe in terms of facility. You punya friend punya update equipment that dia that dia ni lah, eh? You can put it there. Okay, market constraint is about market constraint lah, eh? Uh, market constraint is a uh, market constraint. Uh, you kena uh, about market market. You kena tahu uh, product. You punya product ni is it already there in the market? Okay, is it you punya product ni for cow feeding and cow raising dah ada ke? Is it there in the market? Kas, dah ada dah. This thing dah already there. Dah buat, dah buat research ya? Hello kelas. Ah. Dah ada market kan? Okay, kalau dah ada market kat mana apa dia apa dia punya lifetime of the product. You kena tengok lah. Kalau ada, kalau tengok the product ni lifetime you mean the product, how long the product, how many sekali the product can, can, can go on. Boleh ada macam ni. Maybe nanti the next five years kita can go for will be different technology macam sekarang ni IR 4.0 kan. Nanti our product is not relevant yet. Maybe they are go for different kind of approach to solve their problem. Ah, tengok kan. Maybe they have different kind of approach. Maybe they boleh pakai satu sistem they don't use our system. Eh, dia punya they can use dia by controlling by another kind of system much more especially rather than using our system. Maybe it could be okay. Kalau our machine ni how long can it can stand? Ah. Kalau you can say 10 years, 10 years, so you can predict you punya product, they, they, your customer can ni, uh, you put dia punya lifetime lah, to market for trend lah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boleh, yeah. Ya, yeah, good. Betul. Itu boleh kan. Macam kita ada teknologi, kita upgrade kan kan. Ah, itu boleh produk kan. Macam kita applykan uh, remote sensing tu lah. Macam IR 4.0 tu kan. Uh, 5G macam tu lah kan. Kita upgrade kan. Eh? Dia ada before this, uh, apa tu? Kita just pakai just uh, current punya sistem lah kan. Tak ada any kind of yang upgrade. Uh, jadi kalau kita upgrade, dia can extend kita punya lifetime. Tapi yang statement yang you write ni just you berapa? This kind you punya product ni. Just a general statement. This kind of product boleh how long? How many is can? Agak-agak you guys predict. 
boleh stand dalam market. Itu je. Simple statement ni. Berapa tahun ni boleh tanya? 5 tahun, 10 tahun? Ha, macam setiap model kereta, macam Honda kan. Di setiap tahun, every, I don't know, every five years tukar model baru kan. Kan, betul kan? Macam kan, is, macam ni lah. Macam X70 ni. X70 kan awal semua dah. X70 ni dah, dah, dah 2 years kan. Mr. Kat ISPT yang baru keluar kan. Well, now sekarang ni SPT dah. Will you buy X70 or X50? Kalau tengok SPT lagi sporty, design dia lagi lagi more rugged ni kan. Nampak sporty tapi dia kecil. Ha, macam X70 tu kalau you nak buy, you terang tak? Berapa tahun lagi nanti dah tukar model baru kan. They will change. Ha, tapi itu point, that one is a point of view from customer. Tetapi kita as a designer. Kita punya produk ni how long kita boleh predict lah. This, kan? Macam you punya produk ni, I don't think so. Like frequent changes like phone. Like kan, tak ada lah. You can letak je sebut statement lah. Kalau 10 years, 10 years lah. Eh? Understand guys? Boleh eh? Boleh tak? Alright. Okay. Boleh. Kalau. Uh, so market consider also. Uh, what customer? Kalau you tengok market trend. Kalau apa customer punya fit? Be like, dislike. Uh, you boleh letak statement ni. You boleh letak ni. Ni. Alright. Okay. Okay, that's about market constraint. Manufacturing facility sama macam company constraint. Okay, you kena tengok. What is your manufacturing capacity? I'm talking guys, pasal you guys might end up dengan virtual prototype. Tapi in the real case, you is a physical prototype. You fabricate. Kalau dulu before face to face, memang you kena fabricate. Kalau student dulu, previous student memang face to face, dia orang fabricate. We have competition at the end. Eh? Kena compete to all the other section. They got the prize, the reward. Eh? So they have to build, uh, they have to build other uh, sense of competition. That's so why they try to best, they are best uh, to build their uh, prototype. So they they kena tahu apa manufacturing facility in the our uh, faculty in mechanical engineering here. They have to survey, I ask them to survey. Apa dekat manufacturing lab, what machine we have, that, um, apa machine. In here in our school of mechanical engineering, for system design students, kita ada design lab. We have design lab, we have a storeroom. Kita ada all the raw material we can get for free, metal, beam, semua. And beside that, we have a design lab for system design. You can easily uh, freely assess that room. You can work. You can. We have a uh, simple drilling machine. We have welding machine. Uh, we have uh, milling machine. I mean, we have cutting machine there. Also, all around the, our faculty, you can easily deal with our the technician that we can fabricate. Uh, that is manufacturing. You can look, you can aware of our the manufacturing capabilities uh, of your com company or your organization. Tengok, eh. kadang-kadang you end up your final concept ni, concept that you generated, uh, you punya component, uh, you punya company cannot fabricate. They need they need to buy special kind of machine. Macam they have need for for them to tooling your component, they need to buy CNC machine. They don't have CNC machine. Ah, uh, Itu dah jadi costly. They have to invest money to buy million eh, CNC machine. Million of uh, ringgit. Nah, tak boleh lah. So, you kena tengok what's your, your punya company, punya machine the available there. So you gonna be aware. So you put the statement. What machine is there? Okay. Kalau your case guys, you guys virtual manufacturing. Macam mana tu manufacturing facility? What you put in here? Sorry guys, take you. Tapi ni tak apa. It's okay. Eh? Boleh? Eh? Okay. Virtual manufacturing. Pasal you bukan physical. Apa kita letak manufacturing ni? Capability. Apa lagi kita? Understand what I mean guys? You boleh letak juga heading ni. Manufacturing facility. You buat virtual kan? Virtual manufacturing kan? Kalau virtual manufacturing means what? Apa you punya facility? Kalau untuk virtual manufacturing, not physical. Guys, are you listening or not? Uh, ni ke? Software ke? Ah, yelah, software je lah kan. Itu kan sedia virtual manufacturing lah. Apa software yang pakai? Uh, SolidWorks. SolidWorks lagi? You nak testing simulation that works or not? Macam nak pakai apa? Pakai SolidWorks je. Macam mana you nak tell benda tu first thing, you bought virtual, you bought solid work, solid modeling dan kemudian you assemble your product, your punya system or your punya machine or your device. Macam mana you nak prove that it works? You will do simulation in computer kan? Okay, apa apa facility you need? You need a laptop, you need a workstation, you need a laptop, you need a solid works, you need apa lagi? Simulation nak testing the run or not, the work or not, apa? virtual. Kalau virtual, eh, kalau you present to me, to present to your customer, Encik Kadir tu, you can present eh, YouTube, eh, you punya presentation virtual, that could convince him that it works. Apa apa facility you need? You boleh convince to your client that it works. Apa apa facility you need? Okay, so it work lagi apa? Kalau you pakai virtual. Understand tak, guys? You put statement here. Understand tak? So it work lagi apa? You nak run simulation ke? Kita kena pakai Adam ke apa? Kena, kena pakai Nestrand ke apa? It might be kan? 
Kalau ada you might be you letak je lah. Boleh tu eh. Pasal you, you end up dengan virtual. Tetapi kalau I cakap kalau fizikal ni. Uh, ni face to face memang you kena tengok apa manufacturing facility lah. What machine you have. Okay. Okay testing is about testing you punya product eh. Uh, okay product kalau ini also. Kalau kalau physical product you kena test eh. You punya product ni. You kena test. Uh, kena test on the site lah. You nak test dia dari segi apa eh. Okay, you punya produk ni kalau kata kasih guys, kalau you punya cerita ni, kalau you produk ni kalau buat fizikal, half scale ke full scale? Of course lah, full scale betul lah kan? Betul. Ha, betul. Macam sebelum ni saya bagi student projek saya is about auto fish feeding machine eh. Ha, fish untuk aquatic punya fish lah, exotic fish eh. Goldfish, guppy semua. So dia, dia kena test dia punya produk ni, dia dah design dia punya prototype. Dulu dia face to face. They have to test at the aquarium. They kena test. They kena mount dia punya sistem on the aquarium. Uh, so what type of testing? Kena cerita lah. Memang of course they kena buat full scale. Ada student want to do half scale. Saya kata boleh. Pasal you kena ni kena testing on the aquarium to make sure that, that other fish there, it works or not. You you record video, send it to me. Uh, so then buat that test betul aquarium, eh? it works kan. They cannot be half scale, full scale. So you kena mention statement kat sini lah. Consider eh. Kata consider ni ni face to face. You punya ni memang full scale lah. It's not half scale. So, you kena put the statement sini, it's a bit too scale. No, I'll skip that. Kalau kena testing in term of rigidity pun kena juga, eh. Test in term of vibration testing, weather testing. Kalau macam you basing kan, you basing, you outdoor kan, you kena tengok weather testing juga, eh. You punya sistem ni, weather, uh, kalau you punya more kada banyak kepada, banyak impact, you kena do impact testing. Kalau you punya component machine, you involve dengan banyak loading, eh. you mount dekat something, ada impact. So, lah cakap, you kena tengok lah strength testing. Kalau macam you punya yang feeding tu, you mau kepada strength, eh. rigidity of you punya machine. Pasal lembu banyak gerak tu. Eh. Ataupun you basing also, lembu tu banyak, you move around. So, you make sure that you punya machine tu testing the idea dia punya rigidity tu. Can it sustain kan? Because maybe you maybe you have a platform, the the tower will step on your platform, maybe who knows. Uh, tell me about the, the cows will go follow to on the road and the cows cannot go on the straight line. It's an animal, it can go left and right. And sometimes cow they behave straight, uh, behave, behave like fiercely again, uh, something like that. Uh, you will impact. Uh, so make sure that you are testing that your component can, can uh, in terms of the strength, you can, uh, what type of testing you are testing, you might predict, well, even you have not generated the concept. Something you will predict. Eh? That is testing. All right. Product lifespan is, uh, Okay, so tadi tadi about uh, market concern. Yang product last spend tadi about I mentioned tadi. Eh? How the product will last on the market lah tadi. Eh? Same thing. Eh? The time the product will last on the market and when the consumer stop using it. Uh, itu saya cakap tadi. Cakap kalau you boleh upgrade, you will extend the lifetime. Boleh macam tu. Tapi you, you put statement. Product last spend ni how long the product will last on the market. How many years? Macam saya cakap tadi. Tadi I just mentioned tadi market concern. Eh? No, not market. That one is not correction. Eh? That one is under how long the product will last on the market is product last spend. Eh? Okay, alright. Life in service, it means uh, okay, bila you design any machine or product, other component components, uh, we don't want our machine or device. Kadang-kadang kalau uh, the machine katakan after the five years, your customer buy your new machine, they want to replace certain component to the cannot cannot be run. Certain component break down, eh, need to be replaced. Tapi there's no more suppliers on that component. Uh. Be careful. We need to be aware juga of this, eh, life in service. Okay. Because kita machine design, they, they compress, they consists of a lot of component. Our component might use standard component kan. Uh, another component may our custom may design component eh. Tapi kalau our client, our customer buy machine, kata after five years, they want to to replace. It means we have already stopped produce this kind of machine. We develop a new machine. Lah. So too bad lah. So the you have to be aware lah like Mr. Beast. You cannot put statements in it lah. Berapa, for how many years and this, this machine that you design, it can be serviceable. How many is and they can be serviceable. That's why the third party vendors can. That's why kita kalau boleh kita try to use all standard component. Lah. Um, lot other vendors who can ni lah. Ada third party yang boleh produce. Okay. Okay. Shelf life storage. Shelf life storage ni. Uh, it's about uh, kalau okay when you build a product. Product you ni is uh, consists of a lot of component. Okay. Biasa in kalau in manufacturing ni yeah, dalam company bila go for manufacturing manufacturing side. Bila ada sales punya signal, katakan ada buyers want to buy 10 units of our machine. Eh? Want to buy 10 units of machine. Actually, uh, they they don't fabricate at the moment. They, the operator of the machine is, dia tak fabricate. Katakan from sales department, dia cakap ada 5 units from this industry want to buy our product. So, the sales department akan signal to the manufacturing floor. So, manufacturing engineer or production engineer akan run down to the signal from sales. 
akan cakap beritahu ada ada demand customer want to buy this unit uh, five units katakan so the machine is actually tak dia tak on the spot they operate try to machine all the component one we drilling tak normally assembly line dalam production line dalam machine last one is assembly line they throws assemble saja i mean the product product so they will get already all the component component pasal machine ni dia compresses a lot of component the component tu on the spot the manufacturer dia benda tu everything is in the store already i mean the machine already done pasal dia ada daily work job kan machine ni kerja dia operator kan machine one doing drilling one component dia dia ada dia ada production line dah control all the component component to assemble to become our complete product already stored in the store Okay, tetapi be careful about the component component of the product. Kalau kita punya machine comprise a lot of component, especially metal. Kalau dia akan simpan dalam warehouse. In the store lah kan. Eh, dalam warehouse. Ada setengah parts can get rusted, can get deteriorated lah. Uh, can, lot, cannot stand long. Pasal actually yang metal eh. Macam you ada bush, you ada planch, you ada something all metal component. Kalau too long keep in the store. Uh, jadi you want to kata ada customer want to buy. Uh, you You get... The stockkeeper, you ambil all the component from the store. But the components already got rusted. Uh, be careful of that. Nanti you get, you assemble a rusted component to make a machine that components already rusted or deteriorated. Uh, itu you got to wear. wear. As a designer, tu, kita kena wear. How long this component can stay in the store? Uh, ada statement saying that tu. Ini I'm talking guys. Ini about the real thing. Yeah. That's why banyak eh, template dia. Then I just explain to guys. Make sure you understand. Lah. Tapi your guys, you, you tak ada lah. Competition, is there any competition? Dalam you punya ni ada competition tak? Ada competition? Competitors ada tak? You nak compete dengan siapa ni? Sorry eh, sikit lagi. Last minute. Ha? Ada nak? Ha, ada, ha, ada competition tak? Ha? ha? Ada, ada mention lah you want to compete. Ada competition, ada reward tak? Ada cik tadi cakap dapat reward, menang dapat reward, ada cakap? Ada yang mention tak? Tak ada eh. Saya rasa macam ada je tak ada eh. Kalau ada cik cek balik. Kalau ada mention kat sini. Ada competition pasal kita ada target lah. Macam dulu dia orang ada exhibition ada competition. Mention it. Memang dulu face to face ada compete. Compete. The same tema kan. Uh, they have to be, compete to each other. And dapat reward eh. Menang fight dapat big prize. Okay. Compete. Uh, competition you mention about competition lah. Okay. Time scale is the duration lah. You punya gun chart. Okay. Now, now already week 4. How many weeks left? Uh, so how many weeks from now you have to pay in DPDS? Nanti at the end you buat virtual prototype. Itu you and ni lah. Until your at the end of your design process. Uh, to how many weeks left. Uh, so you put a statement on that. That's what I mean. Okay. Processes is about special processes. Eh? Certain component ni. Bila yang ni. Kadang-kadang ni special processes. Kalau ada special process. Pasal before before this I give student. My student beach cleaning device. Beach cleaning device. Eh? Uh, uh, beach cleaning device. Consider kalau kita buat physical prototype. They fabricate. Uh, they buat prototype. Okay. Pasal the beach cleaning device. They operated on the beach. Beach sand ni. Dia punya environment ni different than yang normal eh. Pasal beach sand tu dia salty sikit eh. Pasal dia punya beach cleaning device. Dia angkat-angkut. They will they will dump in the sand plus the waste. People littering all the product. The sand tu dia ada kind ada chemical effect. Dia macam ada salty punya sand. Jadi make sure that dia punya. And also the sand condition. Beach condition the humidity dia high. And dia punya temperature dia kind uh, certain temperature. So, dia ada kind, ada kind of chemical effect on the metal especially. Metal part. So, make, each, make sure that each metal part too has been ada certain kind of process. Pasal benda ni kita haven't generate concept yet. Tapi, in the kita boleh predict. Ya. Kalau this kan, kita punya environment. What environment they operate? What are process needed? Kita boleh letak sini. You can put in your machine. Maybe they need a spray. Special kind of uh, spraying. Uh, macam dia ada layer. Eh? They spray the layer on our surface of the metal. That so that our 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 metal component can withstand. Macam you punya case yang basic especially. Eh? You might consider yang ada najis lembu might involve. Eh? You feeding also. Eh? Your component tu might kena. Eh? It's a dirty environment. Eh? It's not clean. Yang basic tu. Memang dia base. Tapi before that, when the boot, the cows enter you punya, you ada consider other kind of chemical. Maybe mana tahu najis lembu tu. The cows punya pus tu, they can ada affected uh, ni. And also the, when you basing, you ada wetting uh, wetting environment. You punya all the metal metal parts tu mesti cannot stand long tu eh. The basing. Eh. You punya component, your fence, you punya platform, your bracket and so on. All metal metal tu. Basing. Then can you withstand the, withstand the, apa? the wet condition like that. Uh, 
Uh, so do you, do you need a special process? Yeah. If not, you put statement something like the need to be sprayed. Eh? Need to be sprayed on the membrane layering. Eh? They will withstand uh, corrosion and also any chemical effect. Kalau ada process, you, you put this statement. It is good kalau you letak this thing. Eh? Okay, the next one is about shipping. Eh? How the product will be distributed? How going to ship the product? Uh, the product, uh, the shipping is about uh, macam mana we distribute the product. Our our product want to be uh, dismantle component. We transport it overseas and at the the country you want to send the product and they disassemble. Macam kereta lah, macam Honda kan. Honda our manufacturing plant is at uh, Alu Gajah Melaka kan. Ah kan, Alu Gajah kan, Alu Gajah Honda kan. Eh? Honda, uh, Honda they, they didn't make it. Dia punya kereta dia as a C complete big unit. Dia as CKD complete not down. Kalau you, you want with car, dia ada dua. Satu CKD, one is CBU. CBU complete big unit. CKD complete not down. Complete not down ni macam Honda Proton semua lah. Macam kereta ni lah. Macam Honda dia punya dia punya originality country is Japan. They build all the component. Dia punya door, chassis semua and so on lah. Dan kemudian dia send transfer shipping to the our manufacturing site at Alu Gajah. And then they receive then only... Lebih kurang macam tu. Then they, they assemble. Ha, dia ada assembly plan dekat certain country. Ha, itu maksud dia CKD. Ha, then so they only the release the product ini. They save cost lah. I mean they, they, they have, kalau kalau they make complete build dekat dia punya origin country at Japan. They don't want to transfer one car memang costly lah shipping. Oh, so ni ada sebab product. Kalau you know about this statement is good. How you make product? Is it going to assemble first or complete? Now? Disassemble component. Itu kalau you ada statement lah. Eh? This statement is so good. That's about shipping. Alright, another one is about packing. Eh? Packing is uh, how product will be packed. How you pack the product. Okay, about packaging. Eh? Uh, kadang-kadang ada uh, PK. Ada product yang sensitif. Kalau product yang quite sensitive, eh? yang very fragile. Eh? Kadang-kadang the way kalau packing is not right and you shipping lagi. You know pekerja shipping punya workers, they don't care what is content of their container. They just bomb dump like that. So the way kalau you packing tu, uh, macam mana kalau your product is very very fragile and very very yang uh, precise instrument uh, need to be special treatment, special care. So you need to be highlighted lah. Uh, there is a statement here eh, about other something. So you as a designer you got to be aware lah. Pasti depend what type of product you design. How the product will be packaged. Kalau product yang very sensitive, yang very ni, uh, macam mana how they okay. Kalau you have a statement is good. Kalau ada lah, okay. Politik also involve. Eh? Politik is about any politik. Kadang-kadang our government policies, maybe certain certain components that we want to be involved in our design uh, is uh, uh, other government policies on that. Okay, certain components. Uh, uh, maybe there is a ban on certain product. We cannot use this thing um, based on government policies. Sometimes political also involve. Eh? Political they do. It. Tapi internal maybe our company political and also external. I'm talking more external. Government policies, we cannot use product from this country. Because this product ni maybe involved in our design. Any issue lah about politics. Sometimes we cannot use about this cow treatment, about tenusu. We cannot use uh, this kind uh, anything lah yang relevant. Okay, kalau ada, it's good lah. Eh? Okay. Alright guys, eh? sorry talking you so long. Ini I talking you about the real things lah. Tapi you guys tak ada lah semua. Ada yang penting semua. Eh, the only important heading that you think that you necessary that you implement that you letak dalam UPPDS. Okay guys, sorry taking a time. Sorry. Uh, okay, uh, last one I can say that uh, UPPDS ni, I think I give you UPPDS is that, make sure eh, poor PDS lead to poor design. Eh? Good PDS, uh, actually good PDS, dia tak cakap you end up good design. Do not guarantee me bad design tapi dia make you punya goal more achievable okay tapi more reliable boleh cakap kalau you punya PDS is poor memang poor lah you punya design kalau weak eh shallow you punya concept design also not good kalau you punya PDS is detail and strong and you punya concept design will be good will be pasal foundation you quite eh? so you punya final design will be good okay guys thank you very much okay and nanti I give you example of PDS as your reference nanti I share dalam whatsapp okay are you still with me or not? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Kalau ada record kan? Kalau panjang sangat, you tengok my recording. I hope uh, Amirul ada record kan? Alright. Uh, uh, you record and check balik. Alright. I share you my... Nanti I share you a PDS eh, for your reference. A sample PDS yang good one. For you to... As your reference. Okay, welcome.
Dah keluar arah ke ni? Tak ambil attendance lagi? Attendance. Eh, ni nampak ni? Nampak eh? Sorry lah, saya solid eh. Pasal kita tertinggalkan itu kan? Okay, scan your attendance guys. Nampak eh? 4 point, apa ni? 5 point? Nampak tak? Attendance, alright. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.